know for a fact you're uh, a lot of you out there are fans of this guy because you've emailed me, you've Twittered me, you've said please have him on the show. And if you don't know him, you're about to see somebody right now that you're going to go, I saw him because he is just, he's going to be huge. Justin Biber is here. Bieber, Bieber. Hi. That's out, he's new because I said Biber, his name is Bieber, and one day you'll look back and go, I can't believe she mispronounced his name, but then you'll say, oh, that's the day she was on pills. I just want to say that I've never felt older in my life. <laughs> Normally, I would be all over the place, jumping up and down, Aww. and I can't move of all days that you're here. You, you couldn't be more adorable. There are some people in the riffraff room that we always, when we have overflow, that don't make it in here. And um, there's, there's two girls in there that are going crazy. Um, Kristen and Laura, come on in here. Kristen and Laura, they were crying the whole time. Really? So they're going to come sit in here. Aww. Look at their t-shirts. Aren't they so cute? You're 15, and yeah. you don't even, your CD is now, people found you how, on, on YouTube? Yeah, I, I mean, I was in the singing competition like a, a while back. I was 12 years old, and uh, my friends and family that couldn't make it um, wanted to see me, so I posted those videos on YouTube, uh, and I guess it just kind of blew On up. YouTube, and uh, just for your family to see, and yeah. now 80 million hits later, yeah. 80 million views people have been, and, and then Justin Timberlake and Usher are fighting over getting you, and you ended up going with Usher. Yes. And uh, what did Usher have to say uh, as far as advice for you? Um, just Definitely just to stay humble. I mean, that's probably the most important thing. If I just stay humble and, and stay on the right path, anything's possible. Exactly, because you have the talent, you have the charisma, you're just as, as cute as you can possibly. <laughs> you couldn't be cuter. Thank you're, you. I mean, you may be peeking right now. Be careful. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how cute you are. I can't imagine you getting cuter. Um, but but you really do have to stay because this business is yeah. crazy roller coaster. So stay just really grounded. And uh, the girls just love you. That's that's Thank exciting, you. right? You like yes, that? Yes, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and you have, a, and it's not cockiness. It's confidence. I like that because cockiness is uh, uh, arrogant and obnoxious. Yes. But you're very confident. Thank Did you. Did you ask Rihanna out? Is that true? It, it did happen. You asked Rihanna out. Yes, I asked her out. Um, it was like at How this... How old is Rihanna? Um, like 20 or I something? I just went in. I just went in. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go in. You just got to do it. Yeah. And what did Rihanna say? Um, I mean, I'm not dating her, so... I mean, oh, okay. That, that's fine. But you'll be friendly with her. Yes, I will be yeah. friendly. Maybe in a few years. You're going to wait for a little while till yeah. you kind of... Maybe she'll date you later. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Never know. Yeah. God, you're just fantastic, aren't Thank you? you? <laughs> you're really great. All right, uh, go say hi to Kristen and Laura over there. And How Justin's are you? Uh, CD, My World, hits stores November 17th. All right, this is from Marissa um, Simino? Simino? From uh, Trumbull. Connecticut. Hi, Ellen. I'm 12 years old, and I love your show. I watch every day. I was so excited to hear you were having Justin Bieber on, and for some reason, the show didn't record that day. I was so sad. Uh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Justin is a young singer who was discovered on YouTube, and he was on the show earlier this month. He is so talented and so adorable. I am so sorry the show didn't record that day. That's exactly why I keep uh, guests around just in case, and I know that Justin is around here somewhere so that I can... Justin, he's... Uh... Oh, he's right behind me. Hey, Justin. Hi. What are you doing back there? <laughs> oh, you're reading my magazine. I don't know. I was just kind of decided. I don't know. I just kind of Hi, Justin. How have you been? It's been, it's been so long. I know. A couple years, right? I know. You have, your mom hasn't come to pick you up yet? That's, I, I've been here the whole time. I, I can't believe. I was just talking about you. Did you hear me? 
Um, I was too busy reading the, uh, the magazine. old magazine. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Um, well, I'm so glad you're here because you heard that she couldn't. Uh, her, uh, Marissa is her name from uh, Connecticut, and her, and she didn't get to see you. So, and your CD comes out today. Is that right? It does come out today. That's very exciting. You want to give Marissa a shout out since she is. Hey, Marissa. Whatever. Hope you're uh, if you're at school. Um, hope that you are um, taping this. That yeah. your T-bow caught yeah. it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's just number one. It's it's my show first and foremost. It is your show. And, and Justin, you you need to see who's on that day. All right. So uh, the last time you're here, you told us that Usher that you're on Usher's label, right? Yeah, I'm I'm on signed to Island Def Jam, um, and uh, his label. That's very so. cool. And I I love Usher. You know that. Yes, he's great. Yeah, he's. Uh, it would make sense that Usher would be here, right? You're telling me today, that's right. It's, it, ladies and gentlemen, today is a great day. His album is in stores. We're here in Los Angeles. So proud of Justin. How did you find him? In a little store, that is. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Yes. Such, a, such an inter incredible, talented young How man. How did you find Justin? We actually, I saw him online for the first time. Um, my family, uh, friends had all told me that you're a fool if you don't go meet this kid. Yes. So I uh, called up my partner, Scooter, and uh, we came together and we met. He sang my song for me. Yeah. Better than Which me one? At the time. You got it back. <laughs> really? Yep. A he lot he of had a higher pitch, so it was a little bit better. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> but then after that, um, you know, we, we, we hung out. We started working on music. Made an incredible album. It's in stores today. My world, you guys go out there and get it. Yeah, it's, it, he's so talented. And, and the whole package, too. Like, I can yeah. see you acting eventually. I can see you doing. You just have everything going for you. you. And you've just got such a great, adorable personality. Thank and, you. Yeah, you're going to do great. And, and, and a great dancer. Yes, and yes. Uh, come on, you two should dance a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> Just a celebrity, he's Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, we've got a section in, uh, in our audience, just Justin Bieber fans. They've got Bieber fever. They're, they're, they've got the Bieber fever, that's why they're quarantined. So, <laughs> so Justin is gonna be coming out here soon. And uh, he's in his dressing room right back there. so we didn't get a chance to rehearse that. <laughs> That's one of my writers, Amy, and, and uh, she volunteered to do that. And I could see that she, at the last minute, decided to protect her face. <laughs> Can we, let's look at that back. Can we look at it?
my closet. What's with your security? I don't know. I got to beef it up. I know. What's with your security? How are they get in your closet? She must you, have snuck by. Yeah, you, I bet you have some tight security. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm doing you, no, very I know well. that. But, uh, but how are you handling all this? Because it is really, uh, I mean, the footage that you see of these the people going nuts, they're trampling each other and fainting. And... It can get. <laughs> What's yeah. up, girls? Uh, <laughs> no, I can't. It can get a little crazy sometimes, but you know, we have uh, really, like you said, tight security. Right. Yeah. But but has, have you had people like try to sneak in and do things like all We've the had creative some crazy stuff? What's like, the most creative thing that someone's done to try to get to you? Girls just trying to get in, like jumping in the back seat when I'm jumping in, pretending they're with us and stuff. Uh -huh. You know, stuff like that. Well, are there any that you might want to jump in the back seat? You know, every now and then, occasionally. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, but I mean, I'm having fun, teenage boy, just like on the road, having you know fun. Yeah. Well, no, this is a good time to, uh, in your life, I mean, yeah. to be a teenager and have this kind of frenzy going on. But, but how, I was asking you this in rehearsal, but how do you manage to actually still live a life? Do you, are you able to do things when you go? Because you're going, all, you've, what, what's your favorite place that you've seen that you've gone to? Um, I really like Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going back in like a week, so, mm -hmm. um, but like, Japan I really like because it's like different like you can go to London and Paris and they all got similarities to like the States and Canada right. but like in Japan it's kind of like a different world right so but are you able to then I think you would really stand out in Japan I mean at least in other <laughs> countries you could go but but do you have to put on disguises and stuff um you know not not really I try to just go to like malls and stuff when kids are at school mm -hmm. so I kind of avoid... so it's just adults yeah. But but still, adults would, but like, you know, clean Yeah, the sometimes people. the p moms are a little more, more crazy than the kids. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because they want to get an autograph for their daughter, yeah. supposedly? Uh, yeah, for just sometimes, like, we were doing this one radio show, we were at a school, and this other girl, this other mom, her daughter didn't even go to that school, <laughs> and she drove over to this school and was like, uh, my daughter really loves you. Can I really get a picture? And we were in the middle of j jumping out. We had like thousands of girls trying to get into our car. And so she's trying to get pictures when I'm getting in the car, trying to get in front of me. And like, I'm trying to squeeze around her to get in the car. And she's like, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. <laughs> and her daughter didn't even go to that school. No. And now your hair has become like the thing. Look at it. Look, it's the one flip and it all perfectly in, in it place. It all comes together. It really does. How end. long do you spend on that hair? Like five minutes. Really? Like seriously. Five People minutes. People are always like, yeah, right. And I'm just like, I get out of the shower, I blow dry it, like and then it's done in like five minutes. I just shake. That's it. And it always lands perfectly. Yeah. Sometimes. Now we have we have some people. Thank you. We, we have some people because it, it's like, it, it's very influential, that hair. A lot of people are wanting that style and we, we wanted to try it out on some people and see what it would look like. <laughs> That's Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson would look good like that. Let's see uh, who else. Donald Trump. Yep. We need to change up that hairstyle. Yeah, I know. It would be good for Donald. What yeah. else? <laughs> Lady Gaga. Yeah. I can see that happening. That's not a stretch. I think I ask you this every single time I see you, but do you get used to this? Does it, I mean, this still feels good to hear this, it right? It still feels really good, you know? Like, like I, I feel like, um, I don't know, it just makes me smile. Yeah. Well, you make a lot of people smile. Congratulations, that I know that you, that was a big award to win, Best yeah. New Artist, right? That's yeah, huge. Yeah, it meant a lot to me. Yeah, and you were nervous before, and you had to perform beforehand, Yeah, too. I had to perform, I had to do a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, it was really, it was nerve wracking, because you know, I'm a big fan of Nicki Minaj myself, and you know, it was really cool. All right, so when, you, when you're nervous, and were you, were you thinking, I have to perform, and you know, while I, but because you probably don't get nervous anymore performing, but you had to perform before the award, and then you all of a sudden had nerves. Yeah, I'm not usually nervous at all, but yeah, I got kind of nervous. Well, you didn't look it. You, Thank you. You pulled it off really good, and, and congratulations again. Okay, so the Twitter questions we have for you, because everybody is following you on Twitter. You're huge on Twitter. How many followers do you have? Um, I don't really know, like... Uh, A lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, like several hundred. Several, like almost a hundred. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> You're big. Um, 
So someone wants to know why you wrap uh, Band-Aids around your fingers. Um, yeah, Michael Jackson did it. <laughs> so. Really, that's why you, d you do it? Yeah. Stop there with that one, all right? Uh, <laughs> other than me, <laughs> who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> other than me. Other than you. Yes. Um, well, it's been for like a lot of like a lot of years. It's been Beyonce. So she's so hot. And you've met her, obviously. Yeah, I met her briefly. Yeah. She's very hot, and she's very yeah. talented, and very yeah. sweet, isn't she? She's so hot. Ex <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's adorable when you say she's so hot. It's not. It's not threatening in any way. It's just adorable. Thank you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Now, there's a rumor that Mark Wahlberg said he will come out of retirement, Marky Mark of the Funky Bunks, <laughs> will do a song with you if you would record a song with him. Mark Wahlberg would do a song with Marky you. Marky Mark? Yep. <laughs> would you do that? I, I, you know, I think, I think that I would. It's Marky Mark, you know? I you might should. as well, yeah. Of course you should. Yeah. So you're saying, yes, you will do it. It's going to happen. I will happen. do it, yeah. Fantastic. We have to go. We'll be back after this. Justin Bieber, everybody. Now, um, when you're trying to sleep at night, first of all, you must have screaming in your head all the time. But when you lay down at night, do you hear that song? Is there a song that you hear in your head? Because we all have songs that get stuck in our head. Uh, actually, the song Teenage Dream is caught in my head. At is the that moment. caught in your head right yeah. now? Well, sing some to us. Uh, you don't have to. I'm, that's, I'm right. just kidding. <laughs> all right, I was going to. Go but... ahead. All right, you, know, you guys know that song, Teenage Dream? Great song, you know? Um, it goes, uh, it's like, you make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The me on, I can't see. Let's run away and don't ever look back, don't ever look back. See? Yeah. Look! Let's wait for that part. So you... So most people have your song stuck. You have Katy Perry's song stuck yeah. in your head. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good song. It is. It's a good song. And I'm glad, you know, uh, you are going to release an acoustic uh, CD, right? Yes. Um, I'm releasing an acoustic album uh, exclusively to Walmart. So, you know, you can go get that if you want. And I... <laughs> I think it's good because I think a lot of people I know, because we've had you on, you know, every single time you're on, I'm always amazed that you have a really good voice. From the very first time I met you, a lot of people are packaged and they go in the studio and they manipulate their voice and they sound, they don't sound as good as they do in person. And you have mm. a really great voice. So Thank you. So I'm glad people get to actually hear your voice instead yeah. of all the that's other the stuff. That's the reason, yeah, that's basically the reason um, I, that's the reason I wanted to do this acoustic album because, you know, you're not even able to hear my voice as much on the track because there's so much, like, through the 808s and, like, all the, like, the synths behind you, you can't really hear yeah, my voice. Yeah, with the 808s and stuff. So, you know, um, um, so you can't really hear it as, you know, my 808s? voice. What's the 808s? 808s are, like, the bass, like, the... Oh. Like, yeah. 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 We knew that. I was just making sure that everybody... Yeah. Knew. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's good that people... Plus, when you're singing, probably when you go out and sing, do people actually even listen or are they screaming the whole time? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, how can you even hear me sing when you're like, ah! <laughs> like that? Because because they can't, they can't. They're just excited to see you. It's not even about you singing. You could probably pretend to sing. You could just move your mouth like that cat, and uh, look, <laughs> it's doing it right now. All you have to do is talk, <laughs> and then people would think that you're singing. And let's talk about the book. So you have a book, and uh, it is uh, First Step to Forever, mm -hmm. my story. Um, and it is really your first step to forever. You've, if, what a giant step that you've taken, too. Yeah. I mean, your life has changed drastically. Very much, yeah. From the beginning to, like, here is, like, there's so much cool stuff that I've gotten to do, you know, travel the world. I never really thought that, you know, this was possible. And, uh, you know, I want to thank all my fans for making this possible. If there's anybody that can address this bullying problem that we're having right now, it's someone who actually is as popular as you are, mm. and and you've experienced not just probably before the fame, but mm. even since the fame, you, exactly. you had something recently, and you're just you. What would you say to people that are being bullied right now? 
there's, yeah, it's so, you know, there's so many bullies. There's so, it goes on so much. And, you know, I think that you should, especially if you're like a bystander, you know, you, you definitely should, um, you know, help out, you know, because it could be you next. So I think that, yeah. And I just think, you know, everybody, everybody, you know, goes through bullying. Everybody, you know, has it. So, um, you know, I think that, you know, there's so, even me, like I say, like, on my YouTube page, there's so many, like, haters that just say crazy stuff. Like, like, I'm not mad I'm 16. I don't have chest hair. I'm not, like, I'm not angry about that at the yeah. moment. You know, that'll come. Uh -huh. But people are like, yo, he's, you know, look at him. You know, he, he, he puts helium in his voice before he sings. Like, you just gotta laugh at yourself, you know? Yeah. It's funny. But, yeah, but we have to do a, a 242. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I just made it up because you had an 808, so I made up a 242. We'll be back. Now, this was a year and a half ago. I want to read you a tweet that you sent uh, a year and a half ago. I can't believe that it's gone by this fast. Exactly. This is crazy, you guys, with your tweets and requests. Just got a small town kid from Stratford on Ellen. My mom is in shock. Ha ha, thank you. A lot of people, and I know Michael Jackson is a huge inspiration to you, yes. and, and you're a huge fan. And, and do you see uh, yourself? Do you compare yourself to him in many ways? Um, I, I think it's it's hard to, to compare anyone to Michael Jackson, um, just because he was so amazing, and, and uh, I look up to him so much. But I definitely take different things from him, um, my style of dancing, and, and, and just the way I present myself as, as an artist. But. Um, if I have the career as long as Michael, I'll be uh, very happy. You will. You will. You. I mean, and if anybody <laughs> doubts that, if, if anybody doubts that, if anybody thinks you're just uh, kind of a teen sensation, yeah. wait till they see this movie. Because when you see this movie, I found myself. I was watching the movie. Portia and I were crying. At, there's sad. <sighs> there's just beautiful, touching points uh, it, with uh, the lonely girl, the, the, yeah. who doesn't want to be a lonely girl, and the girl that's on stage with you, and then your grandfather saying you've got to let go. And there's so many beautiful moments. And it's a story about really uh, perseverance. It's about mm -hmm. not just having the talent, because there are a lot of people with talent. What would you say to people that you want them to get from the movie? Um, it's cool because so many people. There's so many talented people, and and that's. Like, God has blessed so many people, but it, it takes a lot of hard work as well. He wants you to you work for it, and he wants you to always um, just trust him and, and just always just don't stop and, and never give up. Right. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never. <laughs> now, and you're surrounded by very, very good people, too. Yes, yes. It's great because I, yeah, I've surrounded myself with, with a core group who, who have, have now become, like, my family, and they've been really close to me, and it's been really cool because... Um, they want me to become not just a, a, a great artist, but a good person in the end and, and just become a good person. And, and a lot of people I'll be, that haven't seen the movie and stuff, a lot of people think that I'm just some product that people put together and package and put out there and sing baby, just do it. <laughs> and, uh, but no, I, I've been playing music ever since I remember. I, was just, I just want people to see the movie and really see where, um, that you know, I work really hard. And, and uh, yeah. Not only do you, do you, yes, you work really hard. The fact that you got to, to play Madison Square Garden, sold out in 22 minutes, mm. and did it in such a short amount of time, and you see your heart breaking when your throat is, yeah. you know, uh, infected and you can't talk for a few days and you have to cancel a concert. Um, I have to say about the Michael Jackson thing, though, do you feel sometimes that you, because the, the, the tough thing is you have the talent and you have all these fans and you're, you're huge all over the world. Mm -hmm. Do you get to go out and do things? Because that's one thing that Michael suddenly didn't have a life. Yeah. He had to hide all yeah. the time. He, uh, I want to I wanna live as normal life as I possibly can because my life is, is not normal. Like, I travel so much and I'm away from my friends. But at, when people say I'm not normal, like, it's wrong because, like, I'm as normal as it gets. Like, I'm just, I play with, my, I, like, I hang out with my friends. I, I go to the movies. It might not, I might not go in the front entrance, but I still, I still go. In right. The, in <laughs> but that's, the, that's what's really hard because people love you so much and they don't want to take your life away from you. But yeah. in a way, your fans are just crazy when they see you and, mm -hmm. and it's hard for you to have. And I, I know your mom is in the audience and your grandparents too, yes. right? What's up? Hi, Patty. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Um, 
Because you did, say, and, and that's what's great about the movie, too, is you see that you're not one of these moms that push and say, get out there. And I mean, you certainly support him, but, and you, you saw how special he was early on. But that must be hard for you to, to watch him become this so big that it's hard for him to balance out his life. It's definitely a balancing act, but one day at a time. Yeah. But he's doing it, right? I he mean, don't... Is. He's doing great. Yeah. Cause I, and I like uh, when you were at home with your grandparents and they made you clean your room, you couldn't just leave. You get off the bus, you get off the tour bus, yeah. and you want to go out and play, and they made you clean your room. You couldn't just leave. I know, I know, but uh, it definitely might... My, my, they keep me grounded and, and stay humble, and it, it's great. Yeah. Well, that's hard to keep you humble because you're so great at everything. I don't know how anybody could even... Uh, you know, because, I mean, if I were around you all the time, I would just be telling you how great you are. I would not be healthy for you. I would just constantly say, God, you're gorgeous. God, you're great. God, you're talented. God, Thank you're you. amazing. You. you know, that's how but, I would do yeah, it all you day. Yeah, you can't surround, surround yourself a, self with, with, like, people who always do that because then you just you start believing that stuff. And I need people to say, that was, you, you shouldn't do that or that, that wasn't good. Right. Or um, tell me when I perform that, you know, you have to work on this. Mm -hmm. Like, I need that in my life because if I just have people saying that I'm just so good at everything, then and it's just well, it's I need boring. real people around. Yeah, you me. need yeah. people to challenge you, and I have a feeling you challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. But um, all right, we have to take a break. We'll talk more about uh, you and your, and I'll tell you things you do wrong. We'll be back. <laughs> That's a clip from the movie Never Say Never, which I, I can't tell you enough I, to go see Never Say Never. You'll you'll love this film, and it, it's uh, so inspiring. And and then uh, you've you've won so many awards, and now you're nominated for uh, two Grammys this year. Congratulations. <laughs> It's been a crazy two years, and uh, I've always, I've always dreamed of of winning a Grammy. And just to be nominated this year for two Grammys, of being um, 16 years old, is uh, is amazing. Yeah. Well, you're amazing, you. as I said. So, as if he's not busy enough promoting this movie and and working, uh, there's a fan that wrote to me, and I wanted to let him know about it, and we'll see in a minute what he did. It says, Dear Ellen, I watch your show all the time. You're hilarious. Ellen, I might be one of the biggest Bieber fanatics you've ever seen. My friends and I are in love with him. Bieber is such an inspiration to me. Whenever I'm sad or having a bad day, his music gets me through and makes me smile. The next time Justin is on your show, it would be a miracle to come to a taping and see him. I would do anything. I mean, anything, Ellen. I'm not even joking. Put me to the test. Anything you ask, I'd do it. I love him so much, Ellen. His music, lyrics, amazing looks have made me one of the biggest fans. Please, Ellen, I beg of you, next time he's on, call me up. I live like 30 minutes away from your studio. <laughs> love, Paige. Paige Conway. Uh, turns out it's about an hour away, but anyway. It's... <laughs> but even though it was an hour away, and even though he's busy, uh, Justin surprised her, and we have that footage, which was so sweet. Let's take a look. I have to say, before I, before I bring Paige down here, your grandfather was crying watching that. That's so touching to me that, that you were so moved that what he does for people. Aww. I love that you love him that much. I he love that. Crying. That's amazing. What a, what a cry that is. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I don't blame you. You gotta be so proud of him. Uh, all right, Paige, come on down here. Mic on. You're not going to be able to talk here either, are you? Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You all right? Yeah. Kind of breathe. Hey, do this. Ready? <clears throat> Your heart's beating fast. So you're saying that was fun? Yeah. Is this more fun? Yeah. yeah. We didn't even have to send you there. We could have just called her down and she sat on your lap and she's yeah. okay. But uh, what did you feel like when he walks into your bedroom? I was shaking. I didn't know he was coming at all. No. And Aww. I saw him and I thought I was dreaming. I'd... Thank you. I couldn't believe it at all. Like, could you sleep last night? I went to bed at like 4.30. Yeah. In the morning, yeah. 
I mean, that. really, he was in your bedroom. I couldn't even go to school today. No, no. This is exciting, right? Yeah. He has one more surprise for you. Do you? Yes. Do you know um, my premiere today? Tonight, you're, right? Tonight you're coming. Yeah. You're coming. You're going to come. Yes. You excited? You're going to get to see the movie. Oh, my God. Your family's coming too. Your family's coming too. Yeah. Yay! No problem. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back. We're back with Justin Bieber. And should I ask now or should I ask later about where's my gift? You told me you were going to bring me something. Like uh, your birthday. Yep. Uh, Yeah, I missed it. So um, you said you wanted world. I'm working on world peace. Okay, good. Working on that. If anyone can do it, you can do it. All right. Um, It's a (gasps) lock of my hair. It's a lock of. So sweet. Ah, uh, it's so sweet. All right. So here's here's the thing you don't know. If when you see this movie, you're gonna go, what can he? What doesn't he do? Because you you. How do you speak French fluently too? By the way. Oh, je parle français parce que ma famille parle français au Canada. All right. Okay. All right. So <laughs> he solves a Rubik's cube under 30 seconds. He plays basketball like you can't even believe. Such a great athlete. So I thought I gotta challenge him to stuff. So what we're gonna do? is we're going to um, take this. This is Justin's hair. Uh, all right, so here, let's go over here. And we're going to have to get three um, balls. Yeah, you have to bounce it, three balls in there. Then we bounce move on. Bounce it this side or that side? Um, however you want. Three okay. balls into there. Once you've done three balls in there, you move over there. Three into you get, go into your net. I'll go into mine. What, three. You have to get it in the bottom or? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. bottom. And then we move over and uh, as many uh, basketballs in 30 seconds. OK. Okay. And the clock Go. starts now. now. Okay. Yo, can I show you something? What? Okay, so I, I used to play hockey. Let me see if I still have it. Because you made me, you made me shoot it on the bottom ones, but I want to try to hit my face. Okay. okay. So I don't want people thinking I can't play hockey because I'm from Canada. So. Okay. Uh. One more. One more. Go ahead. Should I try to hit your head? Okay. <laughs> During the break, Justin was just showing me something. What are you wearing, Justin? They've never looked better. So, uh, so your birthday's coming up in March, right? Yes. So I wanted to give you, I don't know if I'm going to see you before that, uh, and I thought I would give you a little gift. When you're on the road, I wanted you to have something that you could just, I know you, you like the Segway, yeah. but something that, that you could be in, uh, that you could take off, and it would be fun and custom made. So bring it on mm-hmm. out, and I have a special guest to bring it out. Let's 
let's just <laughs> let's just tell Usher how great he was on the Super Bowl, by the way. Amazing. <laughs> Yo, you think that's the roof? Yeah. It's crazy. That's that's a long way to go down. Yep. Uh, so, and this is a cool little uh, a little Bieber mobile. Yeah. yeah. It's like a pulp mobile, but it's yours, and you have the little hair on top. So, because I know you're going to change it from time yeah. to time, but people want to see that. Yeah. So, how about that? That's cool. Usher is a producer on the movie as well. Let's let's just talk about. How, aren't you so proud of that movie? Very proud of the movie. Uh, you guys got to go see it. It is an all-American film that is all about a dream, mm -hmm. you know. And I think all of us have a dream and hope that someday it could become a reality. But this is uh, the fuel that, fe that that feeds that. Yeah. It's yeah. it's just it's so it's so good in so many ways. I can't even tell you. Yes. I don't care how old you are, if you're a fan, if you're not. It's a it, it's a great film yes, to go yes. see. And they should all. You're going right to the premiere right now, both of you, right? Yeah. So so. I didn't even know you're coming. I know. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. You think I wouldn't be here, man? For the premiere. <laughs> I knew you were going to the. I didn't know you were going to be here. I know. Wait a minute. Yeah. Would you guys like to come to the premiere? KW from New York. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you're going to be in the new release of Justin Bieber's Never Say Never? I thought you were just joking. Joking? <laughs> no, why would I joke about a thing like that? Of course I'm going to be. I, I was not in the initial release of the 3D, but I'm going to be in the new release in uh, Justin Bieber's Never Say Never movie. I promise. I, I, if you don't believe me, ask Justin Bieber. Justin. By my haircut? By yours. I knew eventually it'd come around. Now, uh, but it's adorable, and I Thank bet you. were people going, hey, you don't cut it. Were people freaking out? Yeah, but I was like, I don't really care. Good. <laughs> and I like it, because you can't do the same thing over and over exactly. again. You've got to yeah. change it up, and, and I, I think it's great. I love yeah. your haircut. Thank you. Same girl who did it? People, am I uh, seriously? We're serious. Am I going to be in your movie when no. it's free? Ah! Just kidding. Just kidding. No, she's in it. She's in I it. Am. When does it come out? It comes out uh, in a week. It's actually the pre-order. Friday. Or Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Friday. yeah so. Um, and I am in it. You are in it. Yeah. And the pre-orders are available today. So okay. if you want to pre-order it. Well, especially now that I'm in it. And yeah. it's it's only it's only in theaters for a week. Only in theaters for a week. So you guys need to go. Hurry up. It's so good. If you haven't seen it yet, it really is good. And uh, congratulations, your CD is going to debut at number one. The, the soundtrack of the yes. movie is debut at number one. Justin is so talented. You know I love you so much. I really am a believer. I love you too. I, 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 uh, <laughs> earlier in the show, Justin Bieber told me he had a surprise for me, and uh, so I'm ready for it. Justin, come on out here. Back there, your pants.
pants are falling down. It's because there's mic in my pocket. That's not why. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes. All right, what do you have? Sit you... down. What do you have? It's, it's, it's really cool. You know how I cut my hair, right? Yep. Are you going to fulfill your promise finally? My birthday present? Is it really your hair? That's really my It hair. really is? But, but, there's a, um, there is a perk. Basically, the perk is, um, I wanted to do something good. I'm giving, like, pieces of it to different people so that... <laughs> so oh, that so they I'm can, not uh, the only one getting your... I asked for it a long time I ago. I know, but the thing is, the thing is, we're doing something special. We want you to donate it to whatever charity you want to. Really? Can I auction this off? If yes. I put it on my website... You can auction this, it You off. have to promise me and sign this also. We'll get a... And, and it's your hair for yeah, sure. I swear. You're yeah, not that doll hair. hair that you tried to give me before. That's my hair. All right. So you're going to sign the box, yes. and it's your hair, and I'm going to auction this off on our website, and I I'm going to give uh, the money to The Gentle Barn, which is an organization that I... That's very, thank you very much. That's very sweet. And when, it, when you cut it again, give me some more. Yeah. Whenever well, you... yeah, uh, uh, okay. Why the hesitation? Uh, well, I'm not going to cut it for, like, a little bit. I'm... Not for a little bit, but when you do again. Yeah. But it's cute. I really like it a lot. Thank hey, we you. should say also, when the movie comes out uh, on Friday, there's a... Uh, uh, not only am I in it, which is it's incentive to go. 40 minutes extra. 40 more minutes. At, uh, 40 more minutes. Yeah. That's, that's a so lot. So it's like almost like a new, new movie. It's a, it's a whole new movie. And I enjoyed it as it is, and now I get to see 40 more minutes of the goodness. Yeah. It's going to be yes. cool. It's going to be good. All right. Uh, thank you for coming by and, and proving that I am going to be in the movie. Thanks for giving me your hair. We're going to put this on our website. I want to thank Kelly Kicker, Grace and Chance. I see them already kind of one another by. Let's go say hi to the people in the Ripper room. <laughs> I'm good. Your hair looks cute. I like it like that. Thank you. Is Thank this you. a new thing, or am I just... Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. No, I'm just kind of trying to do Trying new things? things? Yeah. I like it very much. Thank you. By the way, I was uh, in uh, Thousand Oaks uh, a couple of weekends ago, and this girl screamed out of the car, you surprised me with Justin Bieber. You brought him to my house. She was just passing by and screamed out that she was the girl, Paige, that you surprised. That's how, crazy. How weird is that that, that I saw weird. her? Yeah. Right sometimes on. I'm driving in your video, and sometimes I'm driving down the street. And then... I saw that. No, no. I, I didn't realize that was you behind me when yeah. I was... When I was singing, I, yeah. I would have, I would have definitely got right. out of the street. Yeah, no, and it was an all-day shoot. That took me a long time to. I was, it was. I was late. I know. Yeah, I was late. <laughs> um, and thank you again for the hair. Did you uh, realize that for that little piece of hair that you gave me, I got forty thousand dollars? No, it's crazy. Yeah. Forty thousand dollars. Who would, who would have thought that just a little piece of hair? Could be the worst, forty thousand dollars. Wish I had scissors, I'd cut some more. <laughs> no, you should I... actually have Justin Bieber wigs. That'll be cool with my own hair. Right, made from your own hair. So it'd just be one wig, really. Yeah. But <laughs> be very expensive. It would. And tell people about uh, you're such a good guy. You really are uh, not only talented, wildly, wildly talented, but you're a good person. And uh, you started something called the Believe Charity, Believe Charity Drive. Drive. Yes. T talk, talk about that. Well, the Believe Charity Drive is a, is a basically a foundation that I started um, where we, we help different charities, uh, one of them being um, Make-A-Wish, one of them being Pencils of Promise. Uh, we actually have given a lot to my, my food bank that actually was from my hometown. It's called House of Blessing, and I used to get food from there during the holidays. So being able to help them out is like, it feels amazing. How weird. Full circle. You started out going there because you were poor and, yeah. and needing to go there for food, and mm -hmm. now you've actually now started a drive to, to help them. them. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> and now, what does it feel like for you in this two-year time? When I say that, and I see that clip that you were here two years ago, and, and the amount that is of, of success you've had, does it feel like two years? Does it feel like 10 years? Does it feel like one year? What does it feel like? 
I don't know. I, I, I'm really actually terrible with time. Like, if you told me, like, I'd be like, yeah, I just released my world, like, a couple months ago. Like, I really have no, like... Concept of that. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. So, so you don't know, but it just, does it feel like it's, uh, are you kind of getting into a groove where it's a little easier now? Because it's a lot of energy to yeah. come at you at once. It is. No, I was, like, for the first year and a half, I was always exhausted. Like, I was go, 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 like, every day, interviews, right. then... You know, I was never stopping. And now I actually get the time to just chill and then, like, do an interview, like, chill, mm -hmm. go. Good. You need to chill a little bit because yeah. you have worked very, very hard. Yeah. And, uh, and and you have this new album uh, out and uh, for Christmas. And speaking of mistletoe, it seems that you and Selena find mistletoe everywhere you go. Y'all are... <laughs> there's... First of all, it must be nice to just finally not have to hide and run away. It, mu it must be nice that, that you can be open about your relationship. But, but you, you're literally like, you're like me with a little baby Perry. You're kissing on her all, <laughs> all the time. That's so sweet that y'all, you're just, you're just crazy in love, aren't you? She has very kissable cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's really sweet. Yeah. But is that easier that you don't have to hide and do stuff like that anymore? You know, I feel like it, it, it's like, I only live once and like it sucks to be able to you know, always have to hide it. So, right. I mean, I right. just kind of do me, I guess. Yeah, good. <laughs> you should do you. You're a good person to do. <laughs> we have to take a break? All right, we'll talk about more stuff after this. We'll be back with uh, this. <laughs> That's Justin Bieber at the uh, Children's Hospital here in Los Angeles, right? Yes. So uh, that's, that must feel uh, amazing that you can go and put smiles on it those does. kids' It does. It feels faces. great. Like, we had a day off, so I was like, yo, let's go to the Children's Hospital. It's near Christmas. Like, it's not too close to Christmas, but it's near the holidays. <laughs> you really are bad with time. You know. Yeah. But, uh, no, I thought, you know, let's go to a couple of Children's Hospitals, and I've been to it before, so... Um, I saw some kids, and it was amazing. They were really happy. And I bet they were very happy to see you. Is it hard, though, for you to... I, I, it's, it's, it's amazing what you can do for them, but is that hard for you to be there? It is sometimes, especially because, um, you know, when they say, like, this person, you know, might not be around much longer. Mm -hmm. and, but it, it's always nice because it's like, I get to make, you know, them happy, and I get yeah. to, they, they're smiling, and, the, you know, they get to forget about what they're going through for just a couple minutes, so... It's really special for me, like, to be able to do that. Yeah, you're a good guy, and like I said, I mean, you, you've always been very, very uh, down to earth, and I, I really like that about you—that you, you care about people and yeah. take the time to not just get the attention, but but give it back. Yeah. So let's talk about a Christmas uh, album. Did you did you start out intentionally doing this as a Christmas album? Or did you want to do a Christmas album? I did. I wanted to do a Christmas album. I was I wanted to do it last year, but we never got the chance. And, and basically, I was. I was wanting to put out my album this year, but we really didn't have enough time because I was overseas, and, and I wanted to be able to give my fans an album before the, before the holidays so mm -hmm. they could, you know, open up, you know, Christmas presents and maybe have Under the Mistletoe. <laughs> Stuff like that. And uh, so I really wanted my fans to have some, some, some music from me and some mm -hmm. new music because they haven't heard new music in a while. Right, and then you're working on another album yeah, we're actually this. right in the process of still making my next album, believe, but focus on this, this one. This is doing a... <laughs> <laughs> Under the This is doing well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Because who doesn't want to be, when you're opening Christmas presents, listening to, to your Christmas music yeah. while you're opening presents? And it's completely different. Like, to be honest, it's probably, even though it's a Christmas album, it's like my... Probably... I'll say it's like my best album yet. Really? Yeah, because there's so many new songs on there, like new Christmas songs that people have never heard. So, like, it's really good music. Oh, good. Well, I'm, and it's doing very well, like I said, in all the pre-orders. So, and then we won't even talk about the other one later. We're just focusing on this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, a little later in the show, uh, I'm going to bring out this uh, principal, and we're going to check in with a school in Las Vegas that we have sort of adopted. And uh, if you would like to stick around, I would like you to to say hi to the kids because we're going For to a sure. live shot. Okay, okay great. Let's do it. Uh, the name of the CD is Under the Mistletoe. Everybody in the audience, you're getting a copy. <laughs> Jeannie is at, uh, is at Whitney with Sherry and her students uh, live right now. Sherry? Sherry? Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hey, Whitney Elementary School. Hi. Say hi to Justin Bieber, everybody. What's up, guys? Thank 
you so much. Of course. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry how's, it, how's everything going now? Really good, everything's going great. <laughs> Actually, since, I have to tell you that since I aired, since the show aired last time, we've had donations from all over the country, all over the world, but Ellen, I've got to thank you because of everything you've done for us and the outpouring of support for us. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I heard you have some great stories about people making donations. Uh, do you have uh, one or two uh, examples? Yeah, actually, it, it was truly humbling. We had a lady who came from Seattle, and she brought two suitcases filled with clothes for our children. She paid extra luggage and everything, then took a taxi from the Strip to us just to give us the clothes. Wow. And we had another gentleman from Florida with his wife. It was his birthday. He was here. So instead of celebrating and doing what people do in Vegas to celebrate the birthday, he gave all the money he would have spent to us. And he stopped by to give it to us. That's incredible. I'm so That's glad. Cool. I was hoping that would happen when we just let people know about you and about the school. And it actually did. And how are the kids doing? Well, the kids are great. I have to tell you that, um, I think you freak their freak. You, <laughs> you, actually, when I got back, you know, these are pretty happy kids, but they had an extra bounce in their step and glimmer in their eye, and it was all because of you. And, you know, the, what you've given them is beyond anything. You've given them hope. You've given them the gift that somebody cares and loves them, and I just can't thank you enough. Well, I'm so happy that we could do it. I'm so happy that Target stepped in. And uh, kids, we love you. I, I hope you feel that love, all of you kids there. They definitely do. I think they do. Good. <laughs> We're back with Justin Bieber, who says he has an idea. What's your idea? Drum roll, please. <laughs> all right, my idea is that I promise I'm going to talk to some of my friends, and I want to match the other 100000 You want to give them $100,000 as well? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's not all, all right? He says there's... One more thing. He says Ready? there's more. And in December, since, I, since I, I'm putting out a Christmas album, what, what better than to come to your school and perform for you guys some acoustic songs? It's I, it really lovely that you're here uh, to celebrate your birthday with us. I yes. appreciate it I had very to come much. Come here and, and celebrate. Where where else would I celebrate? Just it? here. That's right all. Right here. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Well, and you'll be happy because we have surprises for you and stuff really? like that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you were so good uh, on uh, the Oscars the other night. You're Thank such you. a natural at acting, Thank and you. I hope you get to do that if Thank that's you. what you want to do. Yeah, I love acting. I'm, we're working on some scripts right now um, with Mark Wahlberg and some other people. So good for it's you. Really exciting. You've done CSI a couple of times, yes, right? Yes, CSI. And you liked that? That was fun. Yeah. And but you really are. You're just you because a lot of people think acting is really acting, and it's more just being yourself and yeah. relaxing. And you really never push it. You're very very good. Thank you. So, so I look much. forward to seeing. So let's. Uh, I want to tell everybody what we're doing, and I don't even know if you know this. We have a, f a fan of yours okay. that we, uh, I can't believe we did this, but we went to her house <laughs> and we said, basically, do you trust us? We're going to put you in a box and take you somewhere. And she has no idea. She has no idea? Yeah, she has no idea she's going to end up here. So she you doesn't... basically kidnapped a girl, you put her in a box, mm -hmm. and you just, you said, we're going to take you somewhere nice, right. and she just trusted you? Well, I, and I'll talk to her parents after this, for sure, <laughs> because... Her parents she, don't know? It's ridiculous. I don't know if her parents know or not. Well, she just she just knows me, my name, so she doesn't even know you're here. Yeah. So she's going to end up here a little. She, they're on their way, and they're going to. She's going to end up here. I'm going to hide you. But when she walks out of the box, it, she's going to be in the middle of a television show and freak out. And then she's going to see you and freak out even more. Sounds fun. It feels like we almost should have made it a porta potty because yeah. that, <laughs> that would have been more convenient. It would have been. I don't know where she's coming from. It's a long ride. All right. Uh, 
We have some surprises for you. We'll be back with Justin. We're back with the birthday boy, Justin Bieber, and we were just talking about, I think you've been on, this is your ninth time ninth on the time, show, yeah. I, I believe. And do you think it's, it was two, it was more than two years ago you were here? Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, I think that I was like, my first single one time dropped and when I was like 15, I think. So yeah, it was like your very first anything. You yeah. were like like a baby when you yeah. were on the show. Three, yeah, three. I mean, really, I look at like when you, what you looked like, First of all, do we know where the woman is? She's a girl, she's not a woman, she's a young girl in a box. Um, can she breathe? Uh, she's on the freeway. Can she, can she, like there's holes in there, like for her to breathe and stuff? I'm sure that they've punched some holes in the sides. Hopefully. Yeah, little tiny holes. We don't want her to see what's happening, so there'd be tiny, tiny holes. But yeah. I'm sure she can breathe, she's fine. Yeah. But she should be here soon. Um, all right, so I think that it has been, uh, whether it's two or three years, it has been like a wild ride, because I remember seeing you and, and actually telling the audience, remember this name, because he is going to be somebody very, very big and very special. I had no way of knowing how special mm. and big your career would yeah. be. What, do, you, do you look at it as like, I mean, what has been the biggest surprise in all of this for you? The biggest surprise, I mean, it's all like for me, it's, it's just been all a blessing and, and just to be where I am, you know, at being just turning 18 and, and, you know, these are the years where I'm becoming a man and, and just to try to find myself. And it's great that I have so many great people around me and great fans and, and just like I'm very blessed. So I'm mm -hmm. very blessed. Yeah, and you're a humble guy, which I, you really are, because I think sometimes. Yeah. You know, people, I know, people come out here and they act a certain way and they're not exactly who they present themselves mm. to be, but you really are this guy, yeah. which I love. And you do a lot of good in the world. Do, is there a role model? If you look at anyone's career, because we were talking about you going on to acting, mm. what kind of career do you look at and say, that's what I'd like to do? Role model? Um, you know what? I would say I don't really have anyone in the business. Just basically, like, my mom and, you know, she's been amazing our whole life supporting me she she's one of my role models you know and and uh <laughs> ellen oh come on come on stop it stop she, she's my no. she's my biggest role model no i want to be just like yeah. you so you've done, uh, let's talk about when you went to Whitney Elementary School because you yeah. were on the show and you, you didn't really know we showed this tape package mm -hmm. of Whitney Elementary and just while you were here, you decided, oh, well, I'm going to match that and donate $100,000. Yeah. And you hung out with all the kids. You gave them gifts for Christmas. And they're doing really well now. They're getting a lot of donations thanks to, to people hearing about them on the show and you going there. Yeah. And uh, another thing we're both involved with is Weetopia. And Weetopia. I've talked about Weetopia on the show before. It's a game um, on Facebook that you play. And instead of earning points, you earn joy. joy. And it gives back. It's, it's a great... It gives back to, like, yeah, to charity and different things. So it's really cool. And it's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to play so far. And we've just been, I think it's just been up a few months. They have served 362,431 hot meals. They have been uh, given away uh, 340,575 gallons of drinking water, oh, wow. 2,000 warm coats, 2,149 pairs of shoes. And uh, this is just by playing a game. You're helping other people. So both yeah. Justin and I will encourage everybody to go to Weetopia yeah, yes. and do something. Yeah. I saw that you uh, you tweeted out that you were going to be here today. Yes. And uh, which I'm hoping that that girl didn't see the tweet because now she's going to know you're here. But <laughs> yeah. um, but she probably did. But anyway, so you tweeted out that you have a big announcement. And what is your big announcement? My big announcement is on uh, March 26th. My first single is coming out, and it's called Boyfriend. All right. Yes. That's exciting. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. exciting. <laughs> it's called Boyfriend. Why is it called Boyfriend? Uh, it's basically, the, the song is, is basically, I'm talking to this girl, I'm like, you know, if I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Mm -hmm. And it's talking, and I'm like... Did you write like, it? Yeah, I wrote it with uh, Mike Posner. Mm -hmm. um, so we wrote it, and uh, the verses, I'm kind of like talking, rapping, and then on the hook, I'm singing, and it's, really, it's a really awesome song. I think everyone's... Gonna I can't it. wait to hear it. We can't hear it yet, though. No, I don't have it on me right now. I already play it. All right. It. Yeah. Well, didn't you sing it, though? I can't sing it, because... <laughs> No, 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 it's okay. I, I know, that's Because I, I have to wait, because then they got to be, like, happy when it comes on iTunes and they can buy it and I all see. that stuff. Yeah. All right. I could just guess how it goes. 
How's it go? How's your boyfriend? That's exactly how... Never let you go. That's exactly how it goes. Ever, ever, ever let you go. That's ex... Girl! How did you know that? I'm just guessing that that's how it would go. All right, so it goes like that. It's exactly... Make so sure that's you get it. Go get it. All right. I'm doing a remix with Ellen, so... All right, let's... Everyone. Let's what? You gotta take a break. It's pulling onto the lot. It's pulling onto the lot? Yeah. All right, we're really? gonna take a break. She's pulling onto the lot. Wow. All right. All right, when we come back, you're gonna meet your fan in a box. We're with Justin Bieber, who's celebrating his 18th birthday today with us. And uh, is, the, is, is she here, Andy? Here. She is here. She's okay, here. so you go, go hide back there where you came out from before. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna pull my pants because you always do that thing where you show all my pants down and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna, just for you. Here you go. Back here? Hello? Hello. Hi, what's your name? Sydney. Hi, Sydney, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you wanna get out of here now? Uh, please. Okay, we'll let you out. Hold on one second. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you can take off your blindfolds now. Sydney, oh and let me just say to all the homeschoolers out there, if anyone ever shows up at your door and says, do you trust me, can I put you in a box, say no. <laughs> Have a seat. Thank yeah, you. I can't believe you trusted us and let, let us put you in a box and you had no idea where you were going to end up. Me, and, me? Yeah, well, here you are, right here. So this is surprise number one, Sydney. Oh, yeah. All right? Oh, yeah. It's a big surprise, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. great. <laughs> all right, if you want a sip of water or something, that was a long trip for you, probably. Oh, okay. Was it rough and rocky and stuff like that? Very. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, Sydney, you have surprise number two coming out right now, okay? Uh -huh. Turn around. Oh, my God! Don't cry. I know. I know. It's kind of overwhelming, isn't it? Am I dreaming? Yeah. You're not dreaming. You're not dreaming. No. You're actually... This is real life. <laughs> it's just a normal day. You got put in a box and you drove here. Normal. And you're hanging out with Justin Bieber this on my show. This doesn't happen to you all the time? You were my idol. Really? I, I love you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Well, you're gonna enjoy the rest of the show. We have a seat for you right there. So you're oh gonna go God. sit down there because uh, he's celebrating his birthday with us here. You missed yes. a little bit of the show because you were in a truck on a, in a box. Yeah, uh, it was fun. All right, so have a seat right there and uh, we'll see you in a minute, okay? Thank you, it's great to meet you. <laughs> What's great is that you uh, you actually uh, surprise a lot of your fans yeah. a lot of times, and you are actually a fan of someone, and we wanted to surprise you because you're a fan of somebody. Okay. All right? There's a certain comedian maybe that you like or something? I like 
Kevin Hart. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> Come on out. Thank wow. you, bro. No mustache. Yeah. No, I shaved it. <laughs> I shaved my stash just yeah. for you. Yeah, no facial hair. Did no you, facial hair. Did you shave your mustache? I shaved it today. Keep shaving, it'll grow faster. <laughs> just okay. shave even if you don't have to. Okay. All right? All right. It All right. looks like you do have a little bit of a shadow. A, little, it's a, a tiny bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take a break right now. We'll be back. Your pants fell down again. We're back with Justin Bieber. And uh, you know, the thing about you, and I said this earlier, you are a, you're a good, good guy. You Thank do you. so much good on your, your time off, uh, even you know on, on a day that you're not working, but you work in that night, you go to hospitals, you go visit your fans, and yeah. you do a lot for a lot of people, and you don't do much for yourself. <laughs> and we're like, what do we do for you? And Scooter, your amazing manager, who I adore, said uh, he had a gift that he wanted to give to you on the show. So Scooter, come on over here, and let's uh, tell Scooter. <laughs> Scooter, I didn't know you were coming on here. Again. I feel incredibly awkward being on TV. Well, here you are on TV. Okay, yeah. so, um, because really, he is just the nicest guy, isn't he? He, um, I don't know, I know his mom's out there somewhere, and his dad, uh, they put their trust in me to work with him since he was about 13, and, you know, he does things, I mean, 86 shows in North America, he met with a Make-A-Wish kid every single show for 86 shows, and his one request was no cameras. And he, he does it for the right reasons. So, um, <laughs> he, he, uh, he called me the other week. He met with this young girl um, who's suffering from cancer at five years old. He met with her. He flew her to New York. He played board games, spent the whole day with her, did a fake marriage, um, called her Mrs. Bieber. And, uh, and then he called me afterwards. He goes, I love that. I want it once a week. I want to make a website. And I want to you know, fly kids in and see them. And, you know, you work really, really hard, and I always yell at you, don't get anything flashy, you know, we're not about that, be humble, be humble. And I, I kind of broke my own rule, and uh, we wanted to make sure, since you love cars, that when you're on the road, you are always looking environmentally friendly, and we decided to get you a car um, that would make you uh, stand out a little bit on the road, and I think you know where I'm going, and you're freaking out a little bit right now. So, um, so Justin... A very hard-to-get car. A very hard-to-get car. That's a... Fisker Karma. So Usher and I wanted to do this for you, and um, and, and you of go. course. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh! I have. When you park it, when you park it, you want to make sure that you have. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I guess the inside. Inside, I knew that. And then also you have an that's Ellen good. an Ellen bobblehead that okay. that sticks on the um, the okay. dashboard as well with my book there. Okay, that's your book. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. So you can fix that later. But when you park in the sun, make sure you put that on there. Okay. All right. Not like that. All right. Um, all right. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Sir. We have one more thing for you. A little later. I'm teaching out a Dougie there. Hi, I know it's our Dougie grandma, dance. This on is my there. grandma and grandpa. If you guys didn't know. <laughs> um, 
And my mom. And mom. They know you. With matching jackets on. That's yeah. cute. Y'all yeah. are cute. All right, so happy birthday to you. We love you so much, and Thank I'm so you. proud of you. Thank I continue you. to be proud of you. And um, I'll see you next year for your birthday here yes, again. Yes, of course. All right. All of right. course. Thank you so much. Thanks. So Carly, thank you so much. That was your uh, your debut, and you really you, you sounded so great. And it can be so. I mean, that's that. You most people would be nervous, and you looked great, and you sounded great. Thank you. It's a great song. <laughs> so, Justin, this is as you said, this is your artist, and yes. it, there's obviously this is your first artist. Why yeah. Carly? Well, basically, I was in Canada and I was riding out, and uh, <laughs> looks like the room, you know, loves Canadians, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but I was in Canada, I was listening to the radio, and then her song came on the radio, and I was listening to it, I was like, who is this? A couple of my friends were like, oh, this is Carly Rae Jepsen. And so I was like, okay, so I, and then I looked her up, and then I saw, you know, all the stuff she's done, and, and she's really talented, and, and so I was like, and then Scooter was like, she's not signed. She was signed to like Canadian, I didn't really know what was going on, really. Yeah. I just kind of like, I was like, she's available, so I signed her. I, so your, your song was on the radio, and you hadn't been signed? Well, I'd been signed in Canada to 604 Records, uh -huh. but I had never branched outside of Canada and had no idea how to how to do that. And then one one miraculous day, Justin called. Yeah, <laughs> you know how that happens. Yeah. Sometimes Justin just calls. No big deal. Yeah, <laughs> that's really exciting. That, yeah, that oh. just changed your life. It, it did. At the yeah. time, I was touring Canada in a soccer mom band with my band, uh, and yeah, it seemed yeah. too good to be true, but. Well, and things are going to change from here on out, too. This is going to be a huge debut for you, really huge. All right, the last time you were here, uh, we were talking about Boyfriend, yes. uh, your new song that no one has heard yet. Yeah, I no was one. trying to guess what the song would sound like, yeah. and uh, this is me guessing last time what it would sound like. <laughs> I can just guess how it goes. How's it go? How was your boyfriend? That's exactly how it Never let you go. That's exactly how it goes. Ever, ever, ever let you go. That's exactly Girl. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to listen to, we have, it comes out Monday, yes. but we're going to have 15 seconds to listen to we right now. 15 seconds. Let's see if it sounds anything like I guessed. Like that. Just like that. <laughs> wow. It's almost like you put my tracks on there. I know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Go to of iTunes course. to download Call Me Maybe and Justin's new song, Boyfriend, starting this Monday. This I want to thank Carly Rae Jepsen, Justin Bieber, <laughs> Liam Hemsworth, Julia Roberts. Have a wonderful weekend. Be kind to yeah. one another. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. That's it. That's all a right. long scream. Well, that's a... Uh, That's all the time we have. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Thanks for being uh, here. Uh, all right. So, thank you, though, for the, lo the long scream, though. I really do that's appreciate a it. <laughs> it's inter I love you, too. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting that you're on the show with Will Smith, because you're kind of a, yeah. an official member of the Smith family, aren't kind, you? Kind of, yeah. Now, did he really sit you down and interview you so that you could be a part of that family? Well, basically, you know, he just wants to make sure good people are around his family, you know, and he doesn't want just anybody. So basically, he was like, if you're going to be around my kid, you have to make sure, you know, you do this and this and this. and you Like you what? Know, what and what respectful. and what? What's this you and know, this and this? Just, you know, make sure, you know, if I have something the next day that we get proper amount of sleep mm -hmm. and stuff like that, he's, yeah, he's about his business. He said you're very loud. He said he always knows when you're in the house because you're, you're, you're loud. What does but that mean? I just like to, like... We just like hang out and we're loud. We play music and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. But he didn't say my son Jaden is loud as well. He just said you're loud. <laughs> we're all loud. It's not just me. I don't know why he just singles me out. All it's right. like we're all we're all equally as loud. Well, he just said it. I should bring him back out here, but it's too late. He's probably <laughs> gone now. But yeah. um, anyway, congratulations. I'm so proud of you to be you. on the cover of Forbes magazine, Thank to be you. 18 years old, and to be. <laughs> You're 
you're very involved. You're not just somebody who, who you know, has somebody doing things for mm. you and with your money. You actually want to pay attention and you have a meeting and you know where your money goes and what you're doing. For sure. You know, I, I make it, you know, a priority to, you know, take meetings with my business manager and my lawyer. And, you know, for school, we actually built it in so that I'm actually learning stuff that, like, that matters and stuff like, like, because <laughs> for me... <laughs> like what? Well, a lot of stuff, like, a lot of this stuff for me is, like, X minus C squared, like, I'm not gonna, when am I gonna use that? You're not. So I might as well just, like, do meetings with my business manager and my lawyer, and, like, we just, yeah, that's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I don't, I have not, to this date, and I'm, uh, I'm 54 years old, use X minus C squared. Yeah. I've never, yeah. never in a conversation, never been anywhere, it's never come up. So, no. yeah, it's good that you're, you're learning things that yes. you should you should use in life. Yeah. Let's talk about your car. Last time you were on the show, it was your birthday. We gave you a birthday present, this really cool car, which Fister. is a Fister. Fister. Yes. Fister. That was it. That was when I opened it. Now, look what you've done to this car. Look at what he's done to this car, everybody. It's uh -oh. so cool. Now, that's it's Ooh. paint to make. It looks like liquid. It just, it, it's, it, it's, cr it's chrome. That's incredible. Yeah. That's so, and, and paparazzi can't shoot it because they just get flashes right back in there. They just get right their own face back. That's so smart. Yeah. That's really smart, like stealth. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows that's your car now, but it's, yeah. you know, but still, I think that's really cool to, yeah. to have a car like that. It's pretty fun. And Selena likes a car? Yep. Yeah. And Selena, um, y'all go to bas uh, basketball games a lot, right? Yep. Yep. So. <laughs> Do you ever really get a chance to watch the game? Like when you're there, do you? But, nope. Doesn't seem like you're watching the game. <laughs> There's a game going on. You not can much do. To watch, not much of watching the game. Yeah. Uh, no. Anyway, um, you're going to be performing a boyfriend a little later on in the show. And Set the record. I think, like, right, it's it's gotten viewed over eight million times. That song on on uh, YouTube. I think over eight million times. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty incredible. I that's mean, pretty I think crazy. well, the amount of times all of your stuff has been viewed is something like a trillion or something like that. Uh, it's quad. It's definitely a quadrillion. A quadrillion. Yeah, quadrillion. It has been like an enormous amount. But for for a boyfriend to have eight million and it just came out just you know not too long ago. Yeah, right? I mean, for for me, it's just like I'm so blessed to have so many fans, you know, on the internet, and that's kind of where I got my start. Like the internet, like. People know that that's where, you know, YouTube, I put videos on YouTube. And so to have, like, all the views that I've had now, it's incredible. To follow through that yeah. far. Um, what's the back of your jacket say? <laughs> you know what? What? I, I actually got you a little something. Oh, really? I did. Well, give it to me. Okay. <laughs> it's right here. And, and it says girlfriend. You like it? Yeah? Yes. I'm going to put it on. I'll keep it on. Sweet. Now, you didn't just uh, bring me a gift. I know that you're announcing something very exciting, because you told me backstage what you're I announcing. Am. Guess what? what I'm announcing. I, I don't, I, well, I know. I, I don't want to guess. Cause... I'm announcing my tour. He's going... <laughs> announcing my tour. So the dates, we have the dates. So Justin and I talked before the show. He said, I want to announce my tour. And I said, well, if you're going to announce your tour, you should at least let everybody here have a chance to go. So thanks to American Express, everyone here is getting a pair of tickets. Justin Bieber, Justin, I know you graduated two weeks ago and you didn't really have a traditional graduation. 
ceremony, so I'm gonna give you one right now. Come yeah. on over here. Thank you, Mike. So I made a special graduation. Oh, do I sit? No, no. I feel like it's a dress. So you don't mess up your hair. All right. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Audience. Justin's manager, Scooter. Justin's road manager, Kenny. Justin's mother, Patty. Good afternoon. Today is an important day. It's Dollar Taco Day at the Warner Brothers Cafeteria. But enough about that. We're here to honor the accomplishments of the Beebs. A great American who happens to be from Canada. Justin, you finally made it. You're graduating, and I'm so proud of you because I've always said there ain't nothing more better than an education. <laughs> Today, you're a high school graduate. You've accomplished so much in a short time. You're only 18. You're already an international superstar. When I was 18, my biggest accomplishment was drinking a whole bottle of boysenberry syrup from the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> Justin, I have been there for you since the beginning of your career. This was the very first show that you were on. But you should know that in the future, I can't always be there for you. <laughs> I have a haircut next Thursday, and Friday I'm at the spa, and then it's my cat Charlie's birthday on Sunday. So now that you're graduating, you're gonna have to be able to survive on your own. You're gonna need a strong character, a good business sense, and you're gonna need suspenders. Honestly, your pants have to be pulled up at some point. <laughs> Words? No, you cannot say anything yet. Why can't I say a few words? All right, go ahead. I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank my, uh, my sponsors, BF Goodrich Tires, Little Debbie Snack Cakes, and of course, Dakar Noir. Uh, Ticonderoga Pencils, number two and number three. Well. Class of 2012. It's my honor to present you with this diploma. Is this real? Your diploma. Oh, it's so official. It's official. High school graduate Justin Bieber, everybody. you like to play with your friends? I like to go bowling. I like to watch movies with my friends. Uh, we we like play Barbies. You play Barbies? Yeah. Yeah, nice. and we like to play hide and seek. Yeah. yeah. We love that. Yeah, and, um, and we like going bowling, too. Yeah. You like going bowling, too? We love yeah. bowling. Yeah, what? I go like that. I need this slide thing to push the yeah. ball down. Oh. I got a strike two times. Two times? Really? When I was bowling, I got it That's one awesome. Time. You got one strike? I think. Yeah. You girls are so cute. What kind of cake do you like? I like uh, ice cream cake is my favorite. We like strawberry chocolate lemon. Every cake in the world. Every cake in the world. Even donuts and vanilla and chocolate and custard. Everything. Everything? Can we sing one of your songs? For me? Yeah. Of course, of course. Can you do it right now? Okay. Let's do it. Baby, 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 oh, like baby, <laughs> baby, baby, no, like baby, 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 no. I thought you'd always be mine, mine. Yay! What makes you get scared? What makes me get scared? Uh, I'm scared of sharks. Are you scared of sharks? Yeah. You ever yes. swim in the ocean? No. Um, I think I might have. Yeah. Are you scared of sharks? 
Tiny little bit. It's if not... I see a shark, I'll just punch you in the face. You just punch a shark in the face? Yeah. <laughs> you bite your leg off. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're the first boy we've ever been invited to tea. Would you like to have some cookies? I would love to have some cookies. What's your favorite kind? These ones? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. You want one? Yeah. Okay. You too? Thank you. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Of course. Mm. Good, hey? Mm -hmm. Your favorite cookie candy? Mm-hmm. You have the favorite kind of cookie? My favorite kind of cookie is oatmeal raisin. Mm -hmm. You don't like that? Not really. No. <laughs> you like these? Yeah. This has been Tea Time with Sophia Grace. I'm Rosie. And you're going to thank Justin Bieber. First of all, you should know what Justin went through to get here. Last night, he was performing in, where were you last night? Atlanta, um, We were I think. in Atlanta, yes. Atlanta. You get on a plane and you flew here just to do this today. Yes. So thank you very much. Yeah. In the middle of a, of, of a very long, crazy tour, and uh, oh, I just lost the card. I wanted to congratulate oh. you on every single thing that you were nominated for. American <laughs> Music Awards, so you, uh, you won Artist of the Year, you won Favorite Pop Rock Male Artist, you won Favorite Pop, uh, pop Rock Album for Believe. That's amazing. You kind of cleaned you. up Thank the American you. Music Awards. <laughs> Nominations for People's Choice Awards, a Favorite Male Artist, Favorite Pop Artist, Favorite Album for Believe, Favorite Music Video for Boyfriend, Favorite Music Fan, following for believers. I don't think there's any more categories that you could have been nominated yeah, for. Thank you. Maybe favorite female artist, but, but I that wouldn't have. Really, really, really no. So, um, and so now it, let's talk about the Grammys. Was that? I know that that's important to you. Was that a big bummer for you that you weren't nominated? Um, a big bummer. I would say that you know it's definitely something that I was looking forward to, and you know, but I, I know that you know it'll happen one day. You have plenty of time. It yeah, will happen. I'm so young. So. I'm, ble I'm blessed. To, I'm blessed to just you know be able to do what I love every day, and yeah. you know I'm I'm blessed enough to you know I just the AMAs was a lot of fun. Yeah, for that me, was amazing. So, you know, and you know, I, hopefully I just one day. But it's good. It gives you something to. I mean, you have so much that comes to you. You're so successful. It's good to have something to to you know have a have a goal, right? Yeah, of course. So you're gonna just keep working, and you're gonna you're gonna be nominated for many many Grammys to come. Yeah. You're very young, like you said. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So since you've been here, a lot has happened to you, and uh, I understand you have new tattoos that I should see. I do. You have an owl. I have an owl. What does that signify? It signifies um, wisdom, mm -hmm. um, the wise owl, and uh, the artist that did it's like a classic, classic like tattoo. It's like I, I like classic, classic tattoos, and I looked up in like this book of like classic tattoos, and it was one of the owls, and it was like a really, I just really liked the detail, and the artist was really good, and. Yeah. And where did you get that done? Um, that was on tour. Okay. So. so you just go to tattoo parlors on tour. You no, must... I, I I do my research before I find out. Like it was, the, I went. To, it was the she came from the oldest tattoo shop in in, in America. Mm -hmm. It's like the oldest tattoo shop. I don't know. And how old was she? She wasn't old. She okay. Was like, she was young. Some ninety-year-old woman trying no, to hold it still. <laughs> they, they do new. They do hire new people as the. You know, as years as, go as on. The, the years go on. <laughs> yeah. And what else did you get? You have three new tattoos since. I, how many tattoos do you have now? Um, I have a couple. I have um, some um, on my leg, and then a couple here, and then one What's on my chest. What's over there? I saw something This is over music there. in Chinese. That's a tiny little thing. Yeah. It's small. Are you sure that that's music in Chinese? <laughs> Hopefully. It looks like a toaster Hopefully. and two pieces of bread. It looks. Going you know out. what it looks like? It looks like a T. It looks like a little TV. That's what I thought. It does look my like mom a little said, TV. You got a TV on yeah. your arm. What are you doing? Yeah. So your days off. So you're on this this long tour, and uh, I know everybody is is tired, but you're young. You have a lot of energy. So you go. You get tattoos. What else do you do during your days off? Well, I like to uh, just you know do fun stuff like you know go to the movies. Hang out with my. I mean, I'm pretty. Normal. How do you go to the movies? You don't go I to the movies. I sneak into the back and I go wait so for the lights to go dark. So you must miss the the beginning of movies. No, just the previews. Yeah, and then what about the end? Um, and then I just leave right when the right movies, when it's over. Yeah, right when it's over. Yeah. 
Hoodie See good? up, just go out the back exit. No, hoodies don't help you. People take pictures of you in hoodies. They yeah. know it's you. Your pants are falling down. There's a hoodie on your head. That's Justin. <laughs> so you met the, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister, and uh, it, it, you got a lot of attention for that, yeah. which was kind of crazy, right? So yeah. you're, you're in the middle of like a meet and greet. I'm in a meet and greet, yeah. And then you, you meet the Prime Minister, and, and you were criticized because you were dressed uh, like that. Yes, and then, in overalls. Like overalls, right. Yeah. But you were doing like you but that was at, I was at my concert. That was at that was at my like I was doing a meet and greet, um, meeting all my fans and stuff. And he um, was came to the venue where I was performing. He, that was at your venue. That was at my venue. Yeah. He brings his flags with yeah, him when he brought, goes. No, they, yeah, they brought those. For the, like, yeah, they brought them. Well, that's was, not fair because it looks like you went to his office dressed like that, but he brought flags he to make those. it look like you're underdressed. Yes. That's not fair. I know it, was, it wasn't fair, but that was really at my. My event, like I was, my, like so. I, I really promise, if I would have went to his environment, I would have put it, been all done up. But I know, because uh, I know you. Look at me, and I had, a, I had a <laughs> overalls. It looks bad, but it's yeah. Not. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that never happens again because overalls are cool. But I got you something, so the next time that happens, you still can be in overalls. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna wear this next time I'm here. Yeah. Maybe right. That. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. So you've given us a pair of tickets to every show on your Believe Tour, and uh, we're going to give them away on Twitter and on our website. So because they're all sold out, everything's like completely sold, sold out. out. Yeah. So we're going to give those away on our website, on Twitter, and um, and then we'll be back after this. We'll be back after this. All right. These are the official. These are the these Ellen Cowpoppers. Awesome. They're available at Walgreens, and they're Woo! so much fun. You kind of never want to stop playing with them. Never want to stop. Just I know. I'll give you some to, to bring because. The cow. Oh. Hey. All right, so let's say you have a big announcement. On, I do have this a is very big exciting. Announcement. Tell everybody. Um, in January, my acoustic album is coming out. That's a big. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's very cool. The whole thing. Yes. I like when you sing just acoustic. I Thank think that's you. fun. Thank you. Yeah, it's something um, I think the fans really like because, you know, I started out on YouTube just playing my guitar and, mm -hmm. you know, just singing without all the production and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I like to just, you know, put out acoustic albums and just. It's, I think it's more like intimate. For it is, and, yeah. and you have such a great voice. I love hearing your voice like that. Thank you. You do, you have Thank a beautiful you. voice. Thank All right, you. so let's talk about this book. It's called uh, The 100% Official Justin Bieber Just Getting Started. And what I love about this book, I like that I'm in it. That's my favorite part Look about the that. book. Yeah. 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 All righty, uh, well, Justin, I, I love having you here. Everybody Thank in the you. audience, you're getting a copy of the book Just Getting Started. I get so many birthday greetings, and uh, they don't show me until today. So I'm told a certain celebrity sent a video in today. I haven't seen it. We're going to watch together. Yo, what's up, Ellen? It's Justin Bieber here. And I just wanted to say I, I haven't seen you in a long time. And I uh, just want to say happy birthday. Happy 21st, you know? Uh, and I don't know why I'm even doing this video when I'm in the building, right? So I should... What? for your birthday, and then I also got you some Calvin Klein's. Oh, thanks. Calvin Klein underwear, everybody. You know it. <laughs> I usually only, I only wear my Ellen underwear, yeah, but I will yeah. wear these will because wear of you. Yeah. yeah. You. Uh, I've been showing, as everybody has been showing, first of all, thanks for being here for of my course, birthday. That's so I, sweet of you. Uh, but I've been showing the Calvin Klein ad. Have you seen his Calvin Klein ad? Because if not, <laughs> if not, I mean, damn. Uh, and your hair is, is a different color, right? It's a little right? bit longer, a little bit different color. Yeah, I had to dye it. Why did you do that? For a magazine. Oh, yeah. like a, uh, an ad, like a, like a whole layout, a fashion Something spread. Cool, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if people know this, but this was, uh, this was the first show you ever did. You were 15 yes. years old. Yes. And the way, I mean, I, I, I just, we've watched you grow up. I mean, yeah. you're a total. And honestly, I haven't been on TV for a while, so I'm a little nervous. Oh, well, I, thank you for being here. Don't be nervous. I mean, you're you're crazy talented, Thank you. and I appreciate you're doing something that. Oh, <laughs> look at that kid! Thank you. 
Now, what do you think when you look at that? Do you remember that? that I time? do. I remember being pretty nervous then. It was my first time, like, on big TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. I just get nervous in front of, like, crowds when I'm not singing. Yeah. You know, because I'm naturally, like, a performer. Yeah. But to sit down and be on camera and, like, have to say things and being worried about messing like that. up. Yeah. yeah. Being, you know? Yeah. No, I, you know, I think a lot of people that are in this business, people don't understand it. You can be an extrovert when you're performing, but you're an mm -hmm. introvert all other times, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm that person anyway. Yeah. So Scooter, uh, I'm speaking for me. Um, Scooter, your manager, texted me and said, will you be a part of the roast that they're doing on Justin yeah. for the Comedy Central thing? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to roast him. I don't like being mean to people. Why would you allow, why are you doing this? Uh, I think it's just cool to, like, be able to laugh at yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've done some things that might not have been the greatest. Really? So, uh, Nothing just, comes I'll, to mind. I don't no, know what right? you're talking about. <laughs> but I, I just want to be able to, you know, laugh about it and, you know, be kind of just own up to some of the things, you know? Good for you. And, and I know, because I know Scooter and I know you a little bit, that you've been taking care of yourself and yeah. you're doing really, really good and I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank I, you. I know you've uh, straightened up. A lot, and you look like it. Thank you. I can tell. Thank you. So, all right. When is the Comedy Central roast? When is that? Uh, I think it's in like a month or so. Oh, for your birthday, right? Yes. Your twenty-first yes, birthday. Twenty-first birthday. Wow. Well, happy twenty-first to you coming Thank up. You. Thank and you. And thanks for being here for my birthday. Of course, of course. I appreciate Glad it. I could be here. All right. We'll be back. Justin Bieber, everybody. <laughs> I know it. Uh, so Justin was here for my birthday show, and um, and you said on the show that you were nervous, and then yeah. you we talked later that night. You you called yeah. and said you were nervous, and then you posted that night yeah. a video. Did you see the from his home this this video of how he was nervous? Um, tell me about that, and tell me why you were so nervous and why you posted that. Well, it was the first time I was on television for a long time. And uh, I just was worried about what people were thinking about me. Um, like I said last time, I did a lot of things over the past few years that you know, I'm not proud of. But yeah, I was just nervous to be in front of people again and talk in front of them, remember? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I thought that was really honest of you to say it here. But then when you were at home, what made you, like, what was the impetus? You're sitting at home and you thought, you know what? I got to get this out there and I'm going to do this. Yeah. And what made you do that? Um, I thought I just looked really extra nervous, and I kind of just wanted to explain myself. Maybe. Okay. All right. I understand that, and I think people appreciate that, too. Mm. But I, I think it's hard for people to understand, like Portia was telling me this, people think that all celebrities are never nervous, that no. we're just comfortable, this is a, that we're, and, and it's not true. Well, I, I am a human, Yes, right? you are so a human being. People often forget that, even with some of their comments and stuff, they think that it doesn't get to me. But it gets to me, you know? Things that people say bothers me, and I got to be strong enough to just keep it pushing. But uh, yeah, that's why I just wanted to make the video to just let people know that I'm human. Uh, I love people. I love love. I love, I'm passionate about things. And I'm passionate about being better and growing. So I think that this is going to be an awesome chapter in my life. And uh, I'm so glad that I have you guys supporting me. Great. See, you won't get so nervous. It's just that it had been so long since you were in front of people. So if you do this every week, if you come on every week, you won't get nervous anymore. No, no. So come on every week, Can okay? I come on every week? Every week. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All right. So Justin said, can we do something fun? I, I'd love to come back and, and be on the show. And he said, I, you know, let's... I needed to redeem myself. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, and, and you have. We love you and support you and, uh, you. And, and appreciate the fact that you admit that you did some things that were really... Well, I appreciate you having me on your show. Stupid. Um, and so, <laughs> you can, anytime, you know how much I love you. Hi, Justin. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Back. Yeah. So, Justin has vowed to be here every week as long as he possibly is in town. So, yeah. uh, 
So you'll be here every week. And because the last time you were here, we pranked some people in the bathroom. We yep. surprised some women and, and uh, scared them, and it was really fun. Yep. And so now, this is something you do on your own. What do you do? Uh, I just love doing prank phone calls with my friends. Uh -huh. like, probably top five th favorite things to do. So. You're just sitting around, and you just call people. Do you ever tell them it's you? No. 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 <laughs> so, I just let it play on. OK, so make sure if you get a prank phone call, don't hang up. It could be Justin. You don't know. <laughs> don't just hang up. All right, so we're going to prank somebody now that we know is a big fan of yours. Sure. And uh, she actually, she goes to college, schedules her classes around watching my show. So she is a fan of mine and yours. <laughs> and what are you going to do? What are you going to say? So I was thinking, because she goes to UMass. Mm -hmm. I got these notes here. Right. Um, she is a really good student. So right. I think we should scare her, saying that her, we got her grades and they're not doing too well. OK. Um, Who are you going to be? Who you be? I don't know. Who they, you be, I you say. I think I should be like. <laughs> <laughs> Who you be? Who you be? Who you be, though? <laughs> For real. <laughs> all right. No, all right. So who do you think I should be? Um, I got two two voices. I think I should either be John with the deep voice, uh -huh. or uh, I could be Peter. What do you think? You guys think Peter, yeah, Peter. or John? Okay. Peter. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. Shh. All right. Hello, this is uh, this is Peter from UMass. Is is this Miss Melanson? Yes. Um, I'm actually the head of the English department, and uh, it's it's been brought to my attention that you've been you've been missing some classes lately. Is that true? Um, no, I haven't missed any class. This is Miss Melanson, correct? Yes, Jacqueline. Yes. Okay, and your parents are Leanne and Stephen. Yes. OK, this, this isn't funny to me. I don't know why you're laughing. Well, it's not funny to me. I didn't miss any class. You, did you go to class yesterday? No, it was a snow day. Well, we actually had school yesterday. It wasn't, oh. it wasn't a snow day at all. What are you going to okay. do about it? You've got to make it up. She probably I'll have to talk to the admissions department and figure it out, because Stop yet. First of all, you can stop, ye stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just calm down. My assistant wants to speak. One second. Okay. My, my assistant wants to speak with you. Okay. Yes, I'm his assistant, and I don't do accents nearly as well as he does. Um, <laughs> my name is Ellen DeGeneres, and that was Justin Bieber that was on the phone with you just now. I know you were, he, Justin was being, Justin, that was rude. That was rude. Sorry. It was his idea to call you. But um, actually, uh, Justin thought you should come to a taping. And, and uh, so we'll fly you out here. You'll come to a show. You'll meet Justin. And, and would that be fun? Oh, my gosh, I'm screaming at something. Oh, my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Well, Thank you so much. You're welcome. And buckle down. Quit, quit fooling around in that college there. <laughs> I'll try not to. All right, we'll see you soon. OK, thank you so much. Oh, bye. I love you guys. Uh, we love, love you Love you. All right, we'll be right back. It's see? not my routine now. I got to just I know. first break. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know it. I know. I love that you actually kept your promise. You came to surprise me for my birthday, and then I asked you to come back every week, and every week you've been back. Yep. Yeah. I like you can't it. get rid of me. No, I know. At some point, you're going to be busy and go on tour and yeah, everything. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, so it's good to see you. Good to see you, too. And uh, here's, I, I know Justin as the sweetest, kindest guy. Um, and you do things that I don't think a lot of people hear about. Yeah. Um, you were in New York last week yeah. having dinner. And uh, tell everybody what you did. Uh, so I saw a group of police officers sitting beside me, and I just I paid for the dinner. He just decided to take care of their yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then you took the picture with them. That's a good thing to do. Then they, they like you. Yeah. 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 That's, that's smart. I do gotta that, get, too. You got to get good with the police. Yeah, you got to get in good with the fuzz. Yeah. yeah. No. With the fuzz. <laughs> I call them the fuzz. Um, <laughs> 
So he, last week, Justin was here. We've been doing some pranks. Like uh, the first week you were here, we were hiding in the women's bathroom and scared yeah. women when they went into the stall. Last week, you decided to prank call a fan of yours, yeah. uh, Jacqueline. She was in Boston, and she doesn't know it. She thinks she's here for a taping that's later. She doesn't even know this is a show right now. She's in the dressing room. We're keeping her hidden back there. And this is Jacqueline just and her mom, I think. And so they're just waiting. <laughs> And they have no idea that Justin is here. Oh, they're practicing their moves. That's great. They have no idea. <laughs> All right, so anyway, they don't know that Justin's here or that we're doing a show. And in a few minutes, we're going to surprise her and call her out here. Here's, here's what I don't understand that you're doing. You're getting roasted on Comedy Central. Yes. And Kevin Hart is the He's host. the roast master. He's the, the roast, roast master. master. Yeah. And um, you have to be nervous. You have to be scared. I mean, right? Ah! Oh, my god. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't do that to me. <laughs> oh God. Why me? I'm, uh, I'm the prankster. Reaction. Oh my God. I'm the prankster. Why oh. are you doing this for? I thought we were together on this. No, because I'm not part of the comedy roast, so this was my only shot at you. So. Oh my gosh. Look how great you were. This was perfect. You have to be nervous. You have to be scared. I mean, right? Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm, yeah. Yes. He, he was a Calvin Klein model. Yeah. He, he was trying to be as good looking oh as you. Oh, my gosh. I'm still shaking. OK. <laughs> oh, that was so good. All right. Um, we'll be back after this. We're back with Justin Bieber. On Monday, he prank called one of his biggest fans from Boston, and we flew her out here today to see a show. She thinks she's here for a later taping, and uh, she doesn't know we're doing a show right now. She's backstage hanging out in her green room, and with her sister, her mom, she has no idea we're doing a taping. So uh, I'm going to surprise her right now. Jacqueline? Yes? What are you doing? <laughs> in my dressing room. You're just hanging out in your dressing room? Yes. Isn't it weird that I'm talking to you from a television right yeah. now? Hi. Do you want to come out here right now? Because I want you to meet this guy right here. Do you want to meet that guy? <laughs> All right. Now you're excited. All right. Robbie's outside the door. He's going to bring you to the stage. Come on. Take my seat. Take my seat. Hi. Hi. Oh, whatever. All right. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi. You didn't think it was weird that all of a sudden I was like talking to you on the TV? You were just like, yeah, that's a normal thing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, I'm in this dressing room. Yeah. Yeah. We were watching you practice your dance moves for later on and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Here, you hold this mic. All right. Why do you love Justin so much? He honestly has the biggest heart. He cares so much of his fans. Yep. He is always doing things for his fans. He loves his family. His music is so inspirational. I just love him so yep. much. All good I like dancing to his music. That's your room? Yeah. <laughs> so you do like him. That's your bedroom. Yeah. Wow. That's really, uh, those are as many pictures of Justin as has ever been taken in his entire life. That's amazing. Uh, we want to give you the best Justin poster ever to put up in your bedroom, OK? okay. So stand up. Mike is going to take a picture. picture oh, and it's going to go. Gosh. We're going to blow it up. <laughs> no, this right here. Oh, here we are. Okay. <laughs> is that really what the poster should look like? Don't you want to like hug him and stuff? And How you doing? What's up with the sheriff's outfit? Uh, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Justin. Um, Justin, I, I just wanted to say that yesterday, Madonna said that the youngest uh, man that she ever dated was 22, and you just turned 21. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just saying. Because there's I'm a down. picture of Justin we I We can sit here for a year. Yeah. And wait. You're going you're gonna to wait a year? We can talk to each other. So no. 22 is, like, the, the lowest you'll go. No, that's not true. I, look, honestly, look, I, I have no picture. limit. Let's show her this picture that I saw earlier today. That, 
That looks 22. That looks 22? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's what's underneath here. Under the sheriff's yeah, outfit. Yeah, under the sheriff's outfit. On the outfit. outside, he's 21. On the inside, he's 22. That's right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play, here's your paddle. I'm sure you have one, but can, this is Can a... we spank each other with yes, it? Yes, you can, you can do whatever you want. Okay. I'm gonna have a question, uh, and we're gonna answer honestly. I've never seen these, so, okay, never have I ever had phone sex. <laughs> You're a liar. I'm not lying. Really? Wow. Wow. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush without telling them. Ew. Never have I ever fooled around in a bathroom during a party. <laughs> these are, this these, is the 21st century. These are tame. Yeah, that's, Never that's, have I ever gotten kicked out of a bar. I just turned 21. Tur be honest. I just turned turn 21. Turn that thing around, Justin. I just turned 21, though. Jay. I swear. All right. Never have I ever dated someone and their sibling. <laughs> oh, oh Never have I ever fooled around with someone else in the room. When, when someone else in the, with someone else in the Just room. Wave your hands in the air. I mean, all these se um, questions are sexual. Just saying. Um, never have I ever forgotten the name of the person I was fooling around with. <laughs> Come on. You two are perfect for each other. Um, that's all that we have. Oh, we that's, it, I know. two more. It's a fun game, right? It is. I know. I feel like I'm getting to know my new boyfriend. Great. Come up with a question and we'll answer it right now on the spot. Um, never have I ever had <clears throat> <laughs> sex with two different people, with more than two different people in one day. Two different people in a day, Madonna? Here's the thing. Well, what? I want it to be special for my wife. Aww. Aww, I don't buy that. I don't. All right. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be back. We're back with the most famous 21 year old on the planet, my friend Justin Bieber. <laughs> so you're now 21. What was your first drink like? What did you have? A daiquiri or. Um, <laughs> Kept it simple. I think I had like a Heineken or Corona or something. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Because that was your first drink. It must have been first like. First drink, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, yicky, yeah. strong. Like, yeah. yeah. One yeah. beer got me there. Ooh, be careful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, Justin, so uh, did you see who's in the audience? Tish is in the audience. Tish? Tish is in the audience. Tish Look with a nice tush. Uh <laughs> Hi, Tish. We sent, Justin was on repeat after me and he, he had to do all these things to Tish. Poor Tish. I felt so bad. I, I know, I bet it was the best day for ever too. for you. It, you, were such, <laughs> you were such a good sport, Tish. It was fantastic. Um, so this, uh, you were roasted for your birthday on Comedy Central. What a birthday present, right? Yeah. So you actually, you said something really, really sweet at the end. Kevin Hart said you should uh, have a minute to talk. And yeah. uh, you, do you remember what you said? Because I read what you said and it was really sweet. Uh, I was just talking about just it being a new chapter for me and basically saying that I'm sorry for the stuff that I've done. And it's not like, I'm not searching for people's approval, but I just want people to know that that's not me. And I was doing stuff that, and that wasn't me. And a lot of times we pretend so that we can fit in and then we end up looking like a bag. And that was kind of me. And well, and also what you said was you were 12 years old when you got extremely famous. Yeah. And for a 12 year old and to, to get the- I really uh, just didn't, I didn't know how to handle it. And sure. it went to my head and I had to let people pull me down for me to see the truth and see how much of a, a jerk I was being. 
And now I just want people to know that like, this is, this is me. I'm just a genuine person who has fun and uh, I wasn't trying to, I just wasn't trying to be a jerk. Right, you just were young and you had a whole bunch of uh, success and a whole bunch of money and yeah. it's very, it's hard for someone to. There was to, no way of preparing me for it, no, you know? No, nobody could. Um, so, and that's why I love you because I know that you're actually a really good guy and you're trying very hard to, to put all that behind you. I didn't realize, by the way, thanks Switch, there were gonna be so many plants on stage. I unfortunately did not bring Nick the gardener. And I know, I, I was like, well, I don't need him because they're are not, and, but they're plants. So I made a call to a friend of mine to ask if he would spritz my orchids. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, what do you mean, what do you mean? And he's, long story short, he couldn't come, but please welcome my East Coast gardener, Justin Bieber. Your song is number one. What do you mean? All right. Uh, so um, you, you have no water in here, do you? You have nothing no, in here. Empty. No. You just decided to show up just to say hi, yeah. and I love yeah. you for that. And um, we'll we'll go to. Oh, there's people excited. Someone who loves you. So we're gonna we're gonna go to break, and before we go to break, I thought we would uh, maybe pass some T-shirts out, right? Cool, let's do it. Seventh grade. And who is your favorite singer in the world? Of course, Justin Bieber. Of course, Justin Bieber. I went to his concert when I was seven and I fell in love with him. And mm -hmm. you only saw him once? Yeah. And you w were in love with him immediately yeah. and it just lasted? Yeah, he had the Bieber hair. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cute. He's a sweet guy, too. He's yeah. really sweet. Have you met him? Um, no. You should yeah. meet him. You want to meet him? Yeah. Justin, come on out. <laughs> day for you, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing the whip and the nay nay. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how to do the, the whip nay nay? A little bit, but she was crushing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should do it. You want me to do it? Yeah. Can you do it with me? Yeah. Let's right. see it. Oh. You need to teach me because I'm not that good at it. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so where are we doing it? Right here? She's taking you here. to the stage. Oh, here. Here. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's hear it. So you start off like this.
Yo, you were the one that was crushing it. I know, oh, I know. I was backstage man. like, I wish this guy was my dad. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So Thank you, sir. So you're, you really are a really good dancer. Thank you. That's yeah. what you want to do. I was, I was yeah. saying that, too, backstage. Um, Justin is here to surprise you and to say hello, but I also think he wants to give you something. So, um, I'm gonna be going back on tour, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to come check it out and maybe meet my dancers and come backstage and... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you, so oh, man. Now, this time, we really are gonna send you back to your seats. You're not coming back down again. <laughs> and uh, when we come back, Justin is gonna still be here, and we'll talk about stuff. We'll be back. We are back with Justin Bieber. And uh, well, how's your summer been? Summer's been pretty good. Yeah? Yep. You, you uh, wore very little clothes. I, 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 <laughs> right? You had your shirt off in every picture I saw of you. I guess. It's yeah. hot wherever you go, probably. It is you pretty know? hot, yeah. yeah. Who's feeding you grapes there? And that well, that's that's a selfie, and then there's that. You need to take care of yourself. That's a uh, look at that. Um, oh, that's a uh, look that's at that. Window. That's very hot, hot, hot. Oh, a very tall person took that picture, and then there you are. And that. So can I tell you about that photo real Yes, quick? who took that picture and tell us about it? It was a friend of mine, but... But, uh, one of but, <laughs> but... Because one of my friend's parents hit me, and, or one of my friends hit me who has a kid, and they were like, yo, my, my daughter just saw this, and she came to me and was like, I just saw Justin's butt. So I felt bad about it, and I, was, I just took it down, because I didn't want to, like... Right, so you took it down, but then the other, I love because you realize that you shouldn't be naked yeah. out on a boat, and then you yeah. put your underwear on, which I really appreciate. You put <laughs> your Ellen underwear on. Yeah. That looks good. Uh -huh. So the last time you were here, you were here with Madonna. Yep. It seems she was flirting with you a lot. She was, right? Right? I felt that. Yeah. But then what happened backstage when y'all went backstage? You guys really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> This is just, that's just the PG version of what went. I see, down. I see. Now, do, did you hang out with her afterwards or no? Um, we talked a little bit, but we didn't really, we didn't hang. No. No. Okay. She's too old for you. Yeah, she's, she, I mean. I think. You're not too young for her, but she's too old for you. <laughs> who, who are you dating right now? Um. That's the old nervous take the hat off and fix my hair move. Are you dating anyone? These are nice. Those are my glasses. Do you, do you need these? Oh. Just to read. No, you can't see far away in them. I can't see anything. No, it, but see. It, oh, see, oh, this is good. Just, yeah, it's just to read. Wow, maybe I need these. Yeah. This is I good. I know, I didn't think I needed glasses until. This is great. Until, pay attention to the dating Sorry. question. Sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't think I needed them until I was like, how come I can't read? I'm single, ladies. You're single, all right, good. And mingle. And ready to mingle. Yep. All right, well, there's a lot of girls that would like to mingle with you. I'm, I'm in sure. a place now. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship right now. I just want to... They like... don't want relationship. They just want to... <laughs> they, they just want to mingle. That uh, is uh, Where Are You Now, which I love that song very, Thank very you. much. And then... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to do the whole thing. <laughs> You know, that's actually my vocal. They just chopped it up. Oh, it's not really a synthesizer? It's just no, that? No, it's just my vocal. I so they pitched it up, and they, like, messed with it and stuff. That's not true. It um, is true. <laughs> it's not true. I swear it's true. Well, why would you swear and lie saying, I swear? But I'm not lying. <laughs> I swear. Really? What do you mean? Ah, you see uh, what I did there? So you got us into what do you mean, what do you mean? So uh, what do you mean is my new single, by yes. the way, guys? Yes. <laughs> and you had... I, I did one for you. You were Instagramming a different person yeah. saying, what do you mean, what do you mean? And so, what do you mean, what do you mean is about the song, what do you mean? Yes. Right? Yes. Which you performed on the VMAs last Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Right, that was the first time performing in a while. How'd that feel? It was, it felt so great. Just to be back up on that stage and just like, 
I just feel like I'm so much more comfortable there than anywhere else. Yes. You know? so. Well, I'm glad that you're back up on stage. We yeah. miss you. We're ready for that music. Thank you. We're ready for that new music. And uh, wh who did you write the song for? I wrote the song for um, just women in general. Just all women? Dude, it seemed like it was like, one specific woman. It's like, Does it gosh, rhyme with Melina? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Does it rhyme with Melina? I just never know what. <laughs> I just never know what women are thinking. Uh-huh. Because it's just like they say one thing and they mean another thing and they're like, do this, and then, no, don't do this. And I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. You know? <laughs> or they're like kissing you and then they push you off of them and then I'm like, but why? What's going on? Yeah. You know? No, tell me about it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <yeah. laughs> All right. All right. So uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to, Justin, I don't know how many people actually knew that it was Justin. He was playing with some people before the show and pretending to be a photographer, and uh, it wasn't a photographer, it was him. We'll take a break and show you what happened. So uh, Justin Bieber loves to, uh, whenever you're here, you love to get into different characters and try yep. to fool the audience and see if they know it's you or not. Yeah. And last time you were a security guard, and people did not know that you were the security guard, yep. and today we pretended like you were a photographer, and we had a setup back there, and uh, let's see what happened. If you could just stand right here, please. Thank you. Thank you. If you could just, yeah, just stand right over here, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. what we need you to do is, is if you could do, you guys know like a prom, prom pose, right? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Now act like you, you both have the parrot on your shoulder. Yes. Just like that. So nice. So nice. Wow. You got modeling experience. <laughs> great, great. Now face the backdrop for me. Turn all the way around and I look back, look back at it. Christy good. Christy good. Say, so could you please look at the backdrop for me? Hold that right there. Okay, keep it going for me. This is going to be only like one more minute. Just keep it going. The action is crazy. <laughs> See, it's just, it's not right. It's not right. Okay, can you get in front of him right there Thank for Ellen? Like Can you guys sit on the floor for this one? I don't think I can. I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now look at him. Look at him like he, like he just ate the last of the food in your house. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Be happy, be happy, crazy. <laughs> Act like he a tiger in the woods about to attack you. Oh, oh that is great, that is great. Oh, I feel this, I feel this, I feel the emotion in this. <laughs> okay, ladies, I need you to turn around completely, and I need you to look back at it. Like this? I need you to turn, yeah, like that. You got it, you're working it. I, you feel it, don't you, Stevie? You feel it. We aren't gonna be on the show or on, uh, up on the screen or nothing. You guys are crazy, absolutely not. <laughs> This is such a, yes. Here's how this happened. We were sitting around having a meeting and we said, let's have a Bieber week, an entire Bieber week. And we we're like, who would do it? And they were like, well, what about Justin Bieber? And yeah. I was like, that's a great idea to fit in with the Bieber week. It should be Justin Bieber. So congratulations. Thank you. You will be here with us all week, every day, all week every long. Every day, all week. I like it. We've talked about this before, that you should be here all the time, yep, and yep, now it's happening yep, more yep. and more. So <laughs> let's talk about you, sir. When you look at that, how often do you, do you see yourself that young? Do you see that often, or is this like the first time? It's hard to see myself young, but it's cool to look back at. 
and, sure. and what do you think when you see your first performance here at 16 years old? Um, it's just, it brings back a lot of memories. I mean, you really helped with my career and helped, like, get it to the next level. Well, I had a platform, and your yep. talent got you to where you are, because you're crazy talented. Thank you. But, um, but when you see yourself then, do you, do you think you, what, what advice would you give that 16-year-old boy? Um, I would just say listen more. Mm -hmm. Listen to what people have to tell you, because usually they're telling you from past experiences. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, so focused on, like, I'm just going to do it and, like, see how it feels. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, got into some trouble. You s Got myself out of some trouble. You did. You <laughs> but you're getting yourself out of trouble now, because yeah. you're focused on your music, and you're putting out great music. Your songs yeah. are doing very well. And I really, I love your new music, by the way. Thank you. And I'm, other people do, too. If, if you have a chance to uh, go online and see the video that he shot in Iceland... Uh... Right. Yeah. I can't believe you got in that water. It was so cold. It was like 50 degrees. Look at you. So yeah. uh, it, it's a beautiful video. So if you want to see the whole thing, it's gorgeous. Um, speaking of you and your underwear, let's talk about the... Um... <laughs> The paparazzi shot in Bora Bora. Okay. So you are obviously in a private bungalow. Yeah. And you, because usually we're all pretty good at spotting paparazzi. Yeah. They, they hide in boats yeah. and pretend to be fishermen. Yeah. And, and we're like, yeah. you're paparazzi. I mean, we, we're yeah. pretty good at it. How did you not see that there was paparazzi there? Well, I just didn't see them. I think I wasn't really looking out for them either, so. Was there a boat? After, when you think back on it now, can you see where they may have been? Um, Were yeah, they in a I boat? Could, yeah, they're definitely in a boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when, how quickly after that was shot did you realize that that happened? Did that go on wire right away? Uh, the, yeah, it was pretty much like a couple days. It was like a couple days later, Scooter hit me. He was like, yo, I hate to tell you this, but your penis is on the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, what? How does it? And so then the first thing I saw was like the censored one. And it had, like, the black thing over it, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, I don't know what this is going to look like. And then it wasn't as, like, bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But it wasn't like, terrible. Yeah. I'm no expert, but I heard that it was good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tension and... I was in the bungalow next to you, and when I saw it, I was shocked. Yeah. And I don't know how uh, people didn't see. I was right there. Oh my God. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. My hat. So there is a woman. There's a young woman in in, uh, in the background. You can see in the bed. Yeah, no. Is that your girlfriend? No, it's not. Just a girl that you were in Bora Bora just a with. Yeah. You just brought a friend to Bora Bora? Yeah. And you're just naked with your friend? Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Gosh. I mean, you can say. Why can't you say you're dating somebody? I'm not dating anyone, though. She's just a friend? She's just a friend. Wow. <laughs> I have friends. I've never seen them n naked like that. <laughs> and they don't bring me to Bora Bora. Stop. You're making me blush, dude. <laughs> All right. So, what is the name of the CD? Purpose, is that right? Yes, it's called Purpose. And wh wh why do you call it Purpose? Um, because I feel like I kind of lost my purpose for a while, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm slowly finding my purpose. And if I can, like, let people know if you, you know, if you don't have your purpose or you feel like you're looking for your purpose, it's something that's really fundamental in life. And yeah. Yes, it is. And and the thing is, and we showcased you in the um, in uh, that video package. The thing you always have done, always, yeah. is give your time, yourself. You did that for us. You went to, to Whitney Elementary. You go to hospitals. Yeah. When you're on tour, you go visit. And I really enjoy it. That's without press or anybody yeah. knowing. I know for a fact, because I know you and I know Scooter, that you actually make a point and an effort to go visit kids in hospitals. Well. <laughs> and it's, it's often... It's often not the stuff that really gets recognized, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like people don't really know that side of me. I know. And so I want to kind of yeah. let people know that side of me. I'm glad, because people should know that side yeah. of you. So uh, what do you mean is about Selena Gomez, right? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's about All right, we'll take it. Think about your general. answer. And yeah. um, 
We'll take a break and see what you, if you're gonna. <laughs> back with the very talented Justin Bieber. And so we were starting to talk about, you brought it up, Selena. Uh, uh, well, I, no, you brought it up in a. No, I thought it you wasn't wanted about to talk her. about Selena. So, so w you said that three of the songs on this record are about Selena. Well, I, I didn't really say that, but. <laughs> but if there were, which three would they be? Um, I'd probably say. Um, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, sorry, a little bit. And then and the then, third uh, one. Mark my words. Mark my words. Yeah. So when you see pictures of like that, when you see you and, and Selena, you obviously, I mean, no, no one here can, you, when you, uh, your first love, 100%. it's like your first love yeah. you never forget. Yeah. Yeah. So that must be really hard for you. It is tough. I mean, but there's a lot of stuff that reminds me of her. Mm -hmm. You know, in like relationships, like you see something on TV and you're like, oh, I remember when we used to watch this or I remember this smell, it reminds me of a time. Yeah, you told that girl in Bora Bora that stuff, you said. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, me and Selena used to do that. <laughs> All right, what's he say? Uh, no, 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 I'm, you know I'm just playing with you. But I, that, I mean, do you see yourself, do you think you'll ever get back together? Is that a hope for you? Do you think um, that could happen? Maybe. I mean, we have a lot of history together, so mm -hmm. I, I'm sure, I'm, I mean, it possibly could happen. But yeah. I think we're both just on our own journeys of just figuring ourselves out. Yep. And I think maybe once we figure ourselves out, we can come together and make an awesome duo. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, she'll find someone awesome, I'll find someone awesome. And I just want her to be happy, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah. that's sweet. I, and I, I know that she loves you, too. I know that you can't, no, yeah. you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, well, I hope w exactly what you said. I hope uh, you either get back together or you both are happy with somebody else. But I I first love, especially in front of everybody, and we yeah. all watch this happen, yeah. it's, it's tough. Well, we are back with Justin Bieber and Twitch, and we're gonna play one of my favorite new games, Five Second Rule. Let's do this. Uh, Twitch is gonna ask his uh, question, and he's gonna say, name three things in a certain category, like three types of animals, or whatever it is, and we only have five seconds to name those three things and stop the clock. And uh, we get a point, uh, and if uh, time runs out, you get no points whatsoever. We're gonna take turns. You haven't played before, so I'll do it first, okay. so that we uh, give you an idea, okay. okay? All right, here we go. Ellen, name three, three green vegetables. Uh, broccoli, asparagus, lettuce. Look, so I did that in two seconds. Yeah. You have to have your hands back. Okay, Justin, name three things you love about Ellen. Uh, you're funny, you're smart, you're charismatic. Ooh. Two seconds. Okay. Ellen, name three sitcoms. Uh, friends, uh, Ellen, uh, cheers. All right. Justin, name three celebrity crushes. Uh, Beyonce, uh, Rihanna, and... Um, I don't know who else. Uh, Ellen. <laughs> I tried that so was hard. way too long. I tried so sorry, hard to I'm help sorry. you. I, get away from me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Ellen. Yeah. Name three Shonda Rhimes shows. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, Grey's Anatomy. Nice. <laughs> Justin, name three things you can cover in chocolate. Uh, fondue. Uh, uh, um. Fruit? Oh. I, dude, I don't know. <laughs> Almonds? Peanuts? <laughs> I'm bad at this. Yeah. No. Okay, I'll name so three things. There's so much going on in this mind. It's okay. Yeah. All right. You got it? All right. Name three things you can take to the beach. Uh, a towel, a picnic, and uh, a hat. Nice. All right. Close, close. Redeemer, All redeemer. Right. Here we go. Name three things you can't resist. You got it. Um, my phone, golfing, and singing. Nice. Okay. I know, I give you a hard time because you'd always have a hat on and I, I love your hair. I'm glad you're not wearing a hat. Thank you. Thank you for doing that for me. No worries. Welcome back to uh, Bieber Week. It's good to be back. Yeah. So, uh, let me tell you what people are going to be talking about. This CD. This is the, I have been listening to this. It is so good. You like it? I love it. Thank you. I, and I'm not just saying that, because I wouldn't say anything. I'd be like, hey, you have a CD. Um, 
I love it. I, I love, and I talked about this last time. I'm telling you, the, the, the video to um, I'll Show You is beautiful. Thank you. And I love that song. I love all the songs on it. Thank I, you. I love every song on here. It's a, it's a fantastic, congratulations. And there's 18 songs on here. That's a lot of yeah. songs. On um, the deluxe. I think that one has 12. Yeah, still a lot of yeah, songs. Yeah, still a lot of songs. <laughs> right. Six less. Um, so you did um, Zoolander, uh, the sequel to Zoolander. How fun was that? It was really fun. We shot it in Rome. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, so uh, you have a kind of a big announcement, right? I do. Yeah, I'm actually going on tour. Mm hmm. So, that's my big news. I am so excited about that. Thank you. When when will you start this tour? I will start this tour. Oh gosh. It's the only thing I had to remember. <laughs> Do you know? No, I don't. Do you know? You can go to my website to find out. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm here to promote an album and a tour. I know. I'm not doing All right. Well, that. anyway, it's it, it, there's a tour. There's a tour coming. And it's exciting. You can yes. go to, to you. They're going to want to go to my website because let me tell you, first of all, thanks to our friends at Amex, everyone in the audience is getting a pair of tickets to see Justin. <laughs> Let me explain something else for you at home. Everybody here got tickets to go see him live at the Staples Center. So tickets go on sale, I believe, next week. But before they go on sale to everyone else, if you go to my website and you enter the password LNJB, you will be the first available people to get tickets. You'll get tickets before anybody else gets tickets if you go to the website and put in the passcode LNJB before they go on sale. All right? So. Is that? You plugged it. I did it. And then I think uh, your birthday is March 1st, yes. right? And you go on tour like a week after that. You start the tour yeah. in March. That's yeah. I learned that. Earlier today, Justin surprised many of you who came through the security checkpoint uh, only to find that Justin was in disguise and I was in his ear telling him exactly what to do. Here's what happened. Right yep. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. What you got? Uh, what you got? Change. You got a switchblade oh, on you or something? Oh, oh, you got a switchblade no, on you or something? No, no, it's just a money clip. Oh, money clip. Oh, money clip. Keep your I coins in that. Keep your coins in that. Let me, you know, sometimes oh, it's your hair. Sometimes it's your, it's your hair. Let me just, my ring. you mind if I put my hands in your hair? You mind if I put my hands in your hair? No, I don't mind. Let me see, just mess it up here. Like, anything? Any bobby any, pins? Anything, any bobby pins? Nope. No metal at all? No, no barrettes? No metal at all? Nope. Not a barrette. Not a barrette. All right. Yeah, I don't see anything yeah. in there. I don't see anything. Can I search your mustache? Can I search your mustache? Yeah. All right, let me just see. Just feel it all the way across. What'd you have for breakfast, sir? What'd you have for breakfast, sir? I ate a motel, had some scrambled eggs and sausages. All right. Let me just check your uh, ankles. Let me just check your ankles real quick. Here. Absolutely. Just lay down, Justin. Just say, I'm so tired. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, boy. Just lay down. <laughs> Take a little nap. I've been working Just all night. Take a little nap. I've been working oh. all day. <laughs> Just stay there. Just stay completely still. <laughs> that man is just gonna stay. wake up, startled. Go! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. oh! Oh! I thought you were trying to attack me. <laughs> I thought you were trying to attack me. <laughs> Boy. What's your name, ma'am? So, what's your name, ma'am? Rudell. Louder, please. Louder. Rudell. Louder. Louder. Rudell. That's a pretty wig you wear. It's a pretty wig you wear. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Tug on it. It's, it Tug on it? You make sure it's real? Yeah, it's real. Wow. It's real. Wow. All right, everything checks out. Everything checks out. Okay. Rudell. 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 Rudell.
Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm good. Boy, oh boy, I hope you know how to whip Nene. Boy, oh boy, I hope you know how to whip a Nene. Uh -uh, maybe just a little bit. Okay, good. Good. Okay, good. I had to teach everybody so far. Come on in. I had to teach everyone so far. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's do it. Let's see it. You want me to see it? Let me show you. Whip Nene. Yeah, show me yep. how to do them both. Yep. Mm. Yep. And then you whip, whip, and you nay, nay, nay. Yep. Mm. Wonderful. Whipping. Can you do the quan? Can you do the quan? Oh, oh, that's the one. Yeah, hit the quan. Hit the quan for me. Uh, oh, wait, it's this way. Mm. That's right. That's right. Can you do the stanky leg? Can you do the stanky leg? Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the easy one. Mm. Start naming yeah. different dances, ask her. Yeah, what other dances? Uh... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. Just set that down. Just start crying. Be very upset about that. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. If Ellen knew about this, she's going to be upset. If Ellen would have known about this, she'd be really upset. About oh, this. she's going to make me pay for this. She'd probably make me pay for that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to be fired. Oh boy. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, no. Lay down, curl up in a ball. Lay down, just curl up in a ball. Just, just stay there. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hold me. Hold me. Spoon me. Oh, you spoon me. But if, if that's spoon, you have to get up. Okay. 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 So, here we go. I wanted to be a cop, and I ended up here. I wanted to be a cop, but I ended up here. Okay. It's almost like a cop, maybe. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. I love you. It's almost. I love you. It's okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Can we date? <laughs> Can we date? <laughs> Well, I don't think my husband would like that too much. You're married. So, You're married. I am. Story of my life. Story of my life. Everybody I love is married. Everybody I love is married. It's okay, though. No, it's no, not. No, it's not okay. It won't be, okay. It won't be okay. okay. It's never okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, start to feel better. Oh, I feel better. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. I feel better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Feel better about it? Ugh. Yes. Yeah. You're my best friend. Okay, You're my best friend. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Welcome to Bieber Week. Welcome to Bieber Week. Oh, Bieber Week? Oh Bieber. my God! Are you serious? Stop playing! Oh, that's so awesome! You're awesome. You're such a good sport. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Are you sure you're still married? Are you sure you're still married? I am still. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Oh, man, you are amazing. You're a good sport. Oh! I got you something uh, to, to celebrate your new CD coming out. Okay. And I think you're going to like it a whole lot. Okay. It's a swag way. What? Yeah, that's yours. No. Go get on that thing. Ah. Oh, that's so... Bieber Have you week. done it? Do you know how to do it? Yeah, I, I've gotten on these before. Whoa, this one's be, like... Be careful. Don't hurt Whoa. yourself. Whoa. <laughs> One foot. One foot. All right. All right, that's enough. Don't show off. Stop. What? Don't okay. hurt yourself. All we'll right. be right back. All right. Now, you know, some people would stop working so hard after 2,000 shows, but not me. Right now, I am going to give one person in the audience. Later on, there's maybe a couple of things maybe that other people get, but for right now, I'm going to give one person in the audience a chance to win something really cool with a brand new game called Bieber's Boxes. the game. Have a seat. Uh, we have five boxes over there, and uh, let's see what's inside each box. Let's start uh, the first box and see what's under the first one over there. Yep. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Let's see what uh, the next one. 
Nothing at all. Nothing. Let's see the third one. Nothing at all. It may not be a fun game after all. Let's see the fourth one. Nothing. All right. Maybe there's something under the last one. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an Apple Watch. It's an Apple Watch. So it's the new Apple Watch like I am wearing right here. And uh, you can, uh, it's very, very easy to use. You can use Siri and uh, Apple Pay by uh, just tapping your wrist like that. And today, I'm announcing my new Apple Watch app. And so you, uh, all you, you, do, you can see all my favorite photos from our most popular segments and a whole lot more. And you just download Ellen app from the App Store. Um, OK. Uh, Bieber, shuffle the boxes real quick first. Let's shuffle those. OK. All right. Now, I am going to see who wants a chance to win an Apple Watch. <laughs> I'm right here. Can we have Hi, you? yes. Oh my God. Oh. All right, have a seat, everybody. So here we go. This is what uh, you're looking for that Apple Watch because okay. it's a very cool watch, as you can see. And it's, it does more than it, it tells, tells the time, and you can like read apps text, and everything. Yeah. It's really cool. Don't read my text. I'm going to close that. OK, so which box do you think it's under now? I'm going to go dead center, right All in the right. middle. Right in the middle where Justin is standing. All right, Justin, let's see if she, no. Oh, uh, well, Justin. you blew it. All right, All right well, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, all right, I'll give you one more chance. Oh, my gosh. All right. OK, OK. All right. Okay. And uh, you know, I've changed my mind. If, if, you, if you guess it right, because it's hard, obviously, if you guess it right, everybody in the audience <laughs> Something. Everybody's holding up different fingers, and they are. I, there's going to be one finger they're all going to hold up. If you don't. Uh, and and I'm going to give you a 10-minute head start to the parking okay, structure that's good. That's good. if you don't it. guess it right, because they're going to come after you. Okay. All right. Now let's. See. What? Two. I'm going to go number two. All right. Can, two on this on, side or two on this side? Did you shove? On this which, side? Which side? Are you two sure? On, on that side. Where you're standing. This one right, right there. here? That's it. Yeah. Come on, Beebs. Don't let me down. Are you excited that it's Bieber week? Oh, yeah. I like that boy. Yeah. He's a man now. He's 21. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> better for me. He's very. <laughs> OK, that is not possible. He's handsome. I have not seen that. Oh, that no. is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, OK. Yeah. Now we're talking. Th I know. <laughs> he's, he's good looking. Do you think he'd go on a? Oh, yeah. Look at that. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Look. Stop it. That's not possible, I'm, right? I made a turtleneck wow. for you because I know you're a oh, fan. So <laughs> look at that. That's so great. Then you can be a believer. I can. I can be. A That's what you're called if you're if you're. Uh, I think I have one more. Oh, and I heart Bieber. Um, so depending on the mood, you. you oh my God. Yeah, okay. Just casual for around the house. I, yeah, I can wear that. Wear this when I invite you over next I time. I would like to okay. actually. Okay. Good. Thank you, Ellen. This now, is really fabulous. Would that be the youngest if you went out with him? Are you a cougar? Do you consider yourself a cougar? <laughs> well, I'd like to, but you know, I haven't had the opportunity except when I have a job. And when I have a job, then what happens is that they, you know, they have to kiss me sometimes. We've discussed this many times. Right. But when I don't have a job, nobody. Uh oh. Did you see? Some no. OK, 
okay, let's get real here. I mean, is he, that's real beauty. Yeah. We didn't, we did not ask no, you him to do oh that. We didn't God. know he was gonna now do I'm, He's I'm getting shaking. ready to go do the concert and Do you he, think he'll ask me out later? <laughs> here, have some more wine. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love you? you so much. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm tired. I just got back from a long tour. I know you did. I thank you for being here because you flew in from London. You got here at 3 a.m. Yep. Uh, woke up at 6 a.m. because you're completely off, off schedule. What you? What have you done since 6 a.m. today? I have worked out. I went for a little hike. I went to this place called um, Wisdom Tree. Have you ever heard of no, it? No, where's that? It's, like, it's in Burbank. No, I don't know it's about sick. So basically you hike up to the top. It has like this cool tree where it has these notes at the bottom and you write this note. You're supposed to get all this wisdom from it. I got to find the wisdom tree. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. I've never heard it, but now you can't go anymore. Everyone's going to be hanging out at the wisdom tree <laughs> waiting, waiting for you. Uh, do you know that this is your 26th appearance on the show? They just told me that backstage. 26. Yeah. I mean... Look at you. That's crazy. I know. You started on this show, and we've just, we've known each other for a long time. Long time. You spent your 18th birthday here. I gave you yep. a car on this, on this show yep. for your 18th birthday. <laughs> yes. And Madonna was hitting on you? Yep. Madonna was all up in your business. On she you. was. Yeah. Yeah. And then you were here a year ago to, uh, to announce the Purpose uh, CD, which has become your biggest selling CD of all time. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is because of you. Yeah. yeah. So you're welcome. Um, <laughs> so, so let's talk about, um, I know you want to get to this, so I'll get right <clears throat> to it. Who are you dating? I'm not dating anybody. Single. <laughs> I'm not really looking either. You're not looking? No. Nope. When you're on the road, do you ever go on Tinder? I don't, no. Have you ever been on Tinder? I haven't. Never? Never. No, no dating app ever? No. Nope. Would you be curious to do that? Not really. Okay. <laughs> you sound like you're really in a good place. Like you're, you're not really, you don't need to be dating right now. Not this, not this very moment. No. no? You're, you're healthier than I've ever seen you. Thank you. Good for you. I feel strong. Yeah, you, you look strong. Let me um, see. Let me see. Let's just see. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> look at mine. <laughs> when you're on, because you're on tour and, uh, and you're not even done, we'll talk about that in a minute. What is it? Don't you get lonesome? I mean, what's, what's the hardest thing about being on the road? That's probably the hardest thing, just being alone all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm always alone. But then, and do you miss certain things at home? Like, uh, or do you bring everything with you that you would miss? Um, I have my dog. Do you Esther. bring your dog with yeah. you? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And how's your little brother? He's awesome. Yeah. He's seven now. God, seven. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's grown up so fast. Does he come see you ever? He does, yeah. Yeah. He's cute. He's a cute He's little awesome. kid. Um, so now you you finished this tour and you've been on for what, like a year, something like um, that. Over a hundred shows. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And now you're you're not done. You're going on an Australian leg of the tour. Yeah. And then now you have another announcement that I'm, you're. Yeah, I'm doing stadiums in in the United States. He's starting a stadium tour, yeah. which is incredible. I mean, like. You're going to be at the Rose Bowl August 5th. I think yes. it's August 5th. It is. And, uh, and Justin is kind enough, and our friends at Amex are helping. You're all getting tickets to go see <laughs> Justin. sale for the North American Stadium Tour this Friday, and, uh, and when we come back, Justin is going to perform for us, and we're going to go hiking. <laughs> well, aren't these beautiful? Thank you so much, yeah. my friend. Yeah. This is, I think, I, it's, this is your 27th time, and this is your wow. second time for my birthday show, yeah. which is so lovely for you oh, to be here. It's awesome. Thank now, you. do you remember, did you see that montage we just showed? I did, yeah, I was, I was right there. Do you remember all of those? <laughs> I, I do, yeah. yeah. They were all so different. It was yeah. in so, all different places, times in my life, different places in my life. It's, 
kind of grew up on your show. Yes. Now that I think about it. Yes, you owe me a lot. I do. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. No, no you I, don't. But. Um, but if you want, uh, you know, a little cut, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite memory of, of anything that you did on the show? I just love the fact that what you do so brilliantly is you create such an amazing atmosphere for me to feel like I can be myself, you know? Um, and I just, I really appreciate that. Um, also, I love doing all of the, uh, um, the, uh, the pranks and whatnot. All yeah. those are fun as yeah. well. Moments like that, to just be silly and just, like I said, be myself. I mean, yep. that is a big part of, you know, who I am. I'm just a silly person, and you've always accepted me for me. Um, and that's an amazing quality, so thank you so much. Well, I... True. Because I, 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 and I love you for who you are also, because, I mean, really, you came on the show when you were first discovered, and right. I love the documentary so much, and it really explains to people what you went through and why you needed to take a break. Yeah. Are you happy with it? I am. I'm yeah. really happy for it. It's, with it, yeah. yeah. Thank you for it's, asking. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and they talk about how your dopamine levels, like it, what what that does to a person's brain at right. such a young age or any age, when you're when you're surrounded by that kind of noise and excitement for so long. Right. I mean, did you realize that that was? I mean, looking back on it, what it was doing to you? Um, you know, I was 15 when I really started touring. Um, and with that being said, you're on tour, you're, you know, the, the, the depletion of dopamine. Um, and the best way for me to describe it is, you know, I'm going out there every night and I'm giving, 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 giving. And I'm not, I don't understand how to re give myself the proper nutrients I need back and all that sort of stuff because I'm a kid. Um, and I'm doing all the rest of the stuff too, growing up and, you know, experimenting with drugs and doing all that sort of stuff. So... Um, you know, I just didn't realize the, the, the craziness that, you know, the, the toll that my body would take. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot, yeah. And, and I'm so glad you're back, because you Thank took a you. break, and this makes me so happy that Appreciate you're singing that. again, you're writing you. again, the songs Thank are you. great. That's Justin Bieber and his new series, docu-series on YouTube. And it really is good. It's so informative and in, in, in so many ways you talk about. And also, Haley is a big part of it. Yep. Um, and as I said to you backstage, I am so happy that you're happy. And you, you deserve to be nurtured and loved and everything that, that, that is so happening well. for you right Thank now. You. Um, so, there's a, look at y'all all grown up there. But you, when you met, there's a, a, a part in the documentary where you meet her for the first time. Yeah. And uh, look how young, I mean, yeah. can you imagine, did, you ended up marrying that girl. I like, did, you yeah. met this girl at that age, and then you ended up marrying her. Right. Did you know Insane. that? I had no idea that I was going to marry her <laughs> at that time. No. But um, I'm glad it worked out, because she's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. Yeah. yeah. She seems like it. She she's, really is. She's super precious. And I, yeah. I enjoy spending my life with her. Yeah, and it's yeah. cute because y'all talk about how you still get nervous when you're around her, she gets nervous, and yeah. that's adorable. Yeah. That's going to go away. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. You know. But hey. uh, now, when you proposed to her, were you, were you really super nervous? Did you know what you were going to say? Was it like a romantic <sighs> gesture? Yeah, I, I was extremely nervous. Um, I felt like in the past we had talked about, you know, me asking the question. And I felt like she would say yes. So I wasn't really nervous about the saying yes, but I think it's just like, it's a, I think I was more nervous about, am I gonna make this commitment? Am I able to make this commitment as a man and be able to honor, you know, what I say? You know, because that's a serious commitment when you say you're gonna love someone for better, for worse, and like, be faithful, that's a huge, am I able to do that? And so I think that was really what I was battling with. And I finally was like, you know what, I'm gonna make the decision and follow through with it and be a husband. And you know, this is what I've always wanted. I'm gonna just choose this woman and, 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 and just do it. And commit to it, yeah. and you did. Yeah. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's really sweet. And I was just saying, I mean, you're going to be such a good dad too Thank because you. you're so good with kids. You, you. you love kids, and Thank I just you. I think it's it's really Thank it's you. a lot to go through everything that he went through mm. and to to land on his feet and mm. to be normal and mm. healthy. And and I'm just really proud. Thank you. Um, so oh, I, here's what I want to ask. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. Um, what does that mean exactly? I mean, I think I know, yeah. but but what were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy? Yum? Yeah. <laughs> My sex life. Okay. That's <laughs> okay. what I thought it was. Because yeah. um, yeah. there's something about toes it curling is. and stuff. Yeah, like, it, yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm married, you know. Yeah. So. so you got that yummy. That's what it is, you know. Yep. It's yummy. <laughs> 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 is, he hot, is he getting hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> Twitch is hot, I'll tell you that. He's, oh, wow. He's in a cake. Be, um, yeah. All right, so <laughs> do you think the turning point was when you got on stage at Coachella with Ariana that made you say, because you really, sh you, you are made to perform. You are a born entertainer. Thank you for and, saying and you went away, and do you think that that was it, where you got on stage and you were like, I miss this? I think so. Uh, I think I'd been just so afraid for some reason. I think we all, as humans, get caught up in this, you know, place of fear. Um, you know, just whatever we're dealing with, you know, we're all dealing with fear to some degree. Um, and in that place in my life, I was just battling a lot of stuff internally. And so I was just afraid. I was afraid of, you know, what people were thinking, afraid of, you know, can I do this again? Am I, you know, I just was battling with that internal fear. So I think at this point in my life, um, yeah, and that point when I made the decision to just go up there and do it, that was like, okay, I'm ready to kind of do this thing now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, when is it coming out, the album? Uh, the album is February 14th, I believe. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's Valentine's Day. So, I, th I guess this is the first time I'm saying that. Nobody knew that until no, right now. No, that's why I asked you, because nobody 14th. knew. So, February 14th. February 14th. Yeah. Do you like to cook? Uh, I, I like to cook. Really? I like to cook breakfast. Okay, I'm well, not, like... I, I heard you like to cook, so I got something for you. Okay. Um... <sighs> All right, cool. Great. Yeah. Great, yeah, so, it's for her and yeah. this is for me. Yeah. We can cook you, together. And only wear that. Yeah. Only this, only this. when you cook. And then, it, you know, then you wherever it get, goes after the it gets, meal, it gets yummy. It can go wherever. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, we're gonna play a game when we come back. The game is called Holy Puck, and Great. all you have to do is hit the puck into the hole. It seems easy. I'm gonna give you three tries. I don't think okay. you're gonna need three tries, okay. but because I think you're good at everything. Um, I don't know why I'm holding this. I, I, it's, I, just, it's for dramatic effect. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, Wait, I show, when did you start playing hockey? Look at the okay. pictures of him. Right. Look at that. Right there, I was, um, how old was I there? I think I was like eight, and eight you, maybe. I was like uh, 11. Look at that. So you're, you've that been playing for like a long 10. time. Yeah, I've been playing my whole life. Adorable. Canadian, true Canadian. Yes, you are. Yeah, eh? eh? All right. Do what you do. Do what I do. Do what okay. you do, and so, so these people can I win tickets. So if I score, tickets. then they get tickets. They get tickets for this. You guys are counting on me. You think I can do it? These dang pucks, you, man. You can do it. You can do it. Oh! Last try. No pressure, but this is... You're just looking at the floor. I'm looking at the floor, and then yeah, just let me do my thing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, how about this? How about this? How about this? You guys still get tickets. <laughs> Thank you.
the names up there. Let's meet our contestants, shall we? Come on out. Hello, Carol. Hello. All right. We have two empty podiums. Let's. Who's going to play with us? Please welcome Usher and Justin Bieber. <laughs> guys. I'm warming it up, Justin. It's cold in here. Cold. Don't you worry. I'm going to warm it up. <laughs> it's not that cold. Do you want, do you want like, a jacket right now? No, I'm good. I'm good. No, you're cold. I'm good. I'm fine. I'll be good. I'm I'll from Canada. I'll wrap you up in my love. <laughs> All right. I'm going to reveal five secrets that we found out about you, and then I'm going to try to match the secret with the person. If I can match all five, I will win a fantastic prize. I'm not sure what you will win, but I, it's, it's really about what I win. The first secret on the board is... I watch every Hallmark movie. Uh, I kissed Bono. <laughs> My childhood name was Cha-Cha. Uh, Justin. Uh, I accidentally sexted my dad. <laughs> I once broke into a school. I'm going to start with my childhood name was Cha-Cha. And I think, I think it's Usher, just because he's making a face like it's not. I think, I think you're trying to throw me off. I think Justin accidentally sexted his dad. <laughs> I think, I think Carol broke into a school. <laughs> I think you kissed Bono. <laughs> and I think you watch every Hallmark movie <laughs> that there is. I'm not sure about that one. I'm kind of, con OK. All right, let me see how many I have right. Mm. Just one. <laughs> All right. I've changed my mind. I think you used to be cha-cha. <laughs> now you're goo goo. Mm -hmm. um, I think you accidentally sexed your dad. <laughs> I think you for sure broke into a school. <laughs> I think you kissed Bono. <laughs> no, but then that would be wrong. Okay. You think she could break into a school? Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> Justin, if you knew the things we know about Carol, this is not, this is not her first time playing. <laughs> All right. I think, uh, Usher, I'm going to say you watch every Hallmark movie. What's wrong with that? All right, let me see how many I have right now. So now I have for sure, OK, now I got it. I know what it is. <laughs> I'm right. Let's see. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> One more try, and then I'll give up. You got this. You got this. You I know. I'm a sensitive man. There's huh? nothing wrong with a sensitive man, you know? You what? Yeah, it's nothing wrong with a sensitive man. Don't you love, like, notebook, don't you? <laughs> yeah. 
You trying to get me to give you that I'm, one back again? Well, you, you saw the number, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give that to you. <laughs> Although that wasn't right when I had the other one. No, that's not right. Don't trick her, Usher. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it. She's having a hard Messed enough time up. on her own. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Google. All right, Justin, I think you watch the Hallmark movies because you're so sweet and sensitive. <laughs> I think, um, oh my God, Carol, you sexted your dad. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you kissed Bono. I've already tried that. Okay, all right, this is my last one. Let's see. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, okay, I give up. What was yours? I accidentally sexted my dad. Oh. <laughs> I know. God, that's horrible. I know. Was it like a extremely graphic yeah. thing? Uh, it was like just the top area, so not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a picture? It was a picture. Yeah, it was a picture. Uh -huh. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Justin, which is yours? Uh, I broke into a school. I, that was too obvious for me. I was like, there's no way that they're going to give me that. I thought, well, you broke into a school. <laughs> of course you broke into a school. That's like, <laughs> that's not spilling the tea. Mm -hmm. Carol, what, what was All yours? Hallmark movies. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Like... This is the tamest. No. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin, if you knew, if you knew Carol like I know she Carol. She looks like a Hallmark movie. Carol, she tell him like some of the things movie. that we found out about you. Oh. You give really good hugs. Oh, good. <laughs> See, hugs. I didn't get You know why? Day. She went to swingers parties. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I know so much about this woman. She has been on this <laughs> many times. Has she actually, though? Yes. She's been on here a bunch of times? <laughs> Eight. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you the things I know about I like her. It. All right. Six Usher, so beach. what yeah. what's yours? You you're not are you cha cha? I mean I tried to put my game face on so you wouldn't look me in the eyes, but yeah. What is it? You're yeah. cha cha? Yeah, I'm I'm cha cha. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, what, what you is guessed your, correctly. I guess it's, it's you kiss Bono. Yes. That's how you play Spill the Tea for playing I'm Getting a New House and for sharing your secrets. Thank you. And for sharing your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> You're all getting iPads. They love Justin so much. I heard the boys, when Harper was, uh, before she was born, they wanted to name her, well, Justin if it was a boy. Yep. But oh, Justine, Justine yeah. if it was a girl. <laughs> Yeah, I'm walking did that, not, did that not work out? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they, they wanted me to do it a lot. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't think that was gonna happen. No? Really? No. Do you know what? I know you all love him. He's the most amazing human being. Yes, he, he is. Really is. He's he really is. He's a good guy. Is. You know, for someone to have achieved what he's achieved and still be an amazing person and, yep. and to be doing what he's doing. You know, he's always been... I always gauge it off how people are to kids yeah. and to my kids. And he has been so kind to my kids over the years. It's, yeah. you know, it's great to see him. Great to see him back. I know, I know. I miss him. He's, he's a good guy. <laughs> We to be able to do stuff like this. I know, this is so cool. And they, they cheer for forever. Yeah. I don't even know when to stop. I'm like, yeah, it's like, all right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like they're too kind, you know? It's like. I feel bad. I'm like, do I keep it going do we, do or do, do just, I? It's like, do you want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, oh, I love you. Oh, good, good to see you. You're doing such a good job at this, by the way. Thank you. Oh, I was going to ask you how am I doing? An incredible job. Thank you. Amazing job. Thanks. I'm really glad to be here with you. And um, yeah, you're, you're doing a good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you're killing it, too. The new album's amazing. Thank you. And then obviously, you see me rocking Drew House thank all you. the time. Thank so you. Thank you're you. killing it as well. And the, series, the docu series is amazing. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you before we start do you remember how we first met? 
I thought it was at the Kids' Choice Awards, but I guess it's it wasn't. It's not. It was somewhere else. Tell me the story. I so I was on tour. Yeah. I was about like 16, I think, and I think I want to say you were 14. Yeah. And you met. You were outside of a radio station. I was doing an interview that day, and you came up to me, and you just like ran up and was like, can I have a picture? And I was like, yeah, for sure. Aww. But it was so sweet. And you were like, my name's Justin. I'm <laughs> Justin Bieber. You're going to know my name one day. Wow. And I was like, wow, OK, cool, like, to for sure. And then yeah. I definitely did. Dang. That's, Dang. That's you're crazy. so little. So cool. Oh my god, Look that's at so us. awesome. We well, we both had, like, similar stories, yeah. being in the industry really yeah. young, and then we both had our struggles. Yeah. Um, do you ever think that there's something else that you would want to do? Um, I think for a while I tried to run away from some mm -hmm. stuff, you know, try to run away from the industry, try to run away from what I felt like God wanted me to do. But I feel like this is what you and I are both meant to do, you know? Mm -hmm. You're meant to entertain and, and sing, and I think same as me. And so when we run away from that, it's almost like we become less happy. Yeah. Um, then we feel like there's all these, you know, you know, responsibilities and all these sort of things that become heavy for us. And I think, um, you know, sometimes we got to run towards the pain rather than rather than run away from it. Totally. Yeah. That was really well said. So. Another thing that we've both done is we both have had documentaries. Were there any limits to stuff that you didn't want to talk about or not want to share? There's a fear in showing like vulnerability and there's a fear in showing stuff that, you know, you feel like people will say you look weak or all these different things. But I think the more mature you become, the more you understand that there's power in your weakness. And when you're able to show that, it gives other people their, the confidence to say, you know what, I'm going through similar things myself. It might not be the exact same thing, but I'm going through something too, and I'm like, I've been hiding it. And so like, just having the confidence and being able to instill that confidence in young people that it's okay to have problems. It's okay to, you know, you don't have to hide that, that each and every person in this audience is going through something unique and a different challenge. And, you know, I just feel like if we're open and honest about that, it creates a dialogue and we, totally. we're able to kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, of course. Yeah. I know just for me and my experience, like when I struggled last year, I know I looked at you as an inspiration mm -hmm. because you. you've been through this and you've come out of the other side and I really Thank just you. admire the man that you are Thank today. You and um, yeah. But anyways, Thank keeping you for it. Saying that. Of course, of course. Let's, let's keep it light. Right? Yeah, on a lighter yeah. note, which yeah. I was gonna switch it to. We both love tattoos. I know that I got a few that I regretted. Did you ever get one that you regret? Uh, no. I think they all tell a story, you know. And right. at the end of the day, like even if it's like not your favorite, it's like that was a part of me at that time, you know. Like I'm gonna look back when I'm older and be like, I have all these like cartoons on my arm, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, it. Oh, my kids will like it, you know? So. Aw, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. They I look great. It. Yeah, Thank and they all you. tell a story. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, you're killing it. I feel like I'm getting Appreciate comfortable. It. More yeah. with Justin after yeah. this. Yeah. We're back with Justin Bieber. Yeah. I want to say huge congratulations yeah. on the album, Changes. It debuted at number one. That's so awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then... I know you're going on tour. Yeah. Have you started rehearsing? Are you excited? I'm rehearsing now, and I'm very excited. I'm pumped. Um, I love singing. I love dancing. I'm excited to get back on the road. I feel better. Oh, um, good. I'm, I'm not feeling sick anymore. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but I got diagnosed with Lyme disease, which I got bit by a tick. And so my whole energy and everything's <laughs> been messed up for like two years. It's been really crappy. I've just been depressed. It's been really crappy, but luckily, um, I have amazing doctors who have helped me to um, have a great recovery, so I'm feeling good. Oh, that's amazing. Another thing is a, another thing is a lot of um, my fans and people on the internet are worried, being like, you know, I just want them to be able to be okay on tour. I'm, I'm really healthy, um, so everyone can look forward to a healthy Justin, which is good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. And yeah. then so much of touring is balance and yeah, stuff. Absolutely. Like for me, 
on my days off, I sleep. Yeah. Uh, what do you like to do on uh, your day? Well, it's gonna be my first time traveling married. So we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. Oh, that's so you know, great. See, see the world and uh, yeah, do it together. It's gonna be cool. That's, that's my wife. And she's beautiful. <laughs> Haley, for anybody that doesn't know, I I like to joke around with Scooter that she's like my little guardian angel mm -hmm. because I had a really bad like anytime I'm having a bad night, she just appears and makes it better. Okay. She's that type of girl. Like at the Met Gala, I had a horrible experience, and then yeah. she waited at the top of the stairs with me for 45 minutes, wow. and it was just the sweetest thing, right? Aww. And then she was at church, and you guys were both there for me, and it was beautiful. But thank you. Anyways, um, keeping it light, what do you guys like to watch? Do you do you like to watch stuff on? Netflix, you were talking TV. about Love is Blind. Yes. We've been watching that and it's insane. It is insane! But it's crazy and I love it. Is there anything else that you guys watch? Do you, are you like fans uh, of The Bachelor? We, we watched The Bachelor, yeah. He was at church the other night. No, he yeah, wasn't! He was, he was I missed there. that! Yeah, you missed the. I went up to him, I was like, it. I feel like I know you. You know me, and we go to the same church, and you didn't text me and be like, yo, Pilot Pete is here. I had no idea that you liked him. Just invite me over, okay? How did you and Haley meet? I don't think I've ever heard that story. Uh, how did we meet? Um, we met uh, in the early mornings of a Today Show uh, taping. Um, we, um, I don't, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to be there. Um, <laughs> she, uh, her dad dragged her out of bed in the morning. Um, and basically it was like, you know, I think because she was raised Christian and I mm -hmm. think she, they found out that like, I, I think it was an arranged marriage, I'm pretty sure. I'm not, <laughs> looking back now, I'm like, it was definitely an arranged marriage. Like, they set this whole thing up. No, but um, since like, you know, she was raised Christian, she's like, oh, I wanna, you know, introduce you to Justin and his mom. You know, Aww. they have similar values and believe the same thing. We think you guys will be good friends. It was definitely an arranged marriage now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, well, mom, dad, if you're listening, it's time, because I'm 27. Arrange and... it up. Arrange it up. Yeah, arrange it up. We have a beautiful crowd tonight, hey? We really do. You guys are awesome. When we come back, we're gonna find out what happened when Justin got into disguise today and surprised some fans. That's right. We'll be right back. We're back with Justin Bieber. And earlier today, you got disguised as a Warner Brothers tour guide on the set of Friends and had a little fun with some fans. Why don't we take a look Let's at check that? Check it out. Hey, how are you? Please come sit down, take a photo, look around. Do your thing, it's the real friend set. Yeah, you can walk around, don't touch many things, don't move things around, but you can look around. It's my favorite place to be, the friend set. What's your favorite character? Do you have a favorite character? I'm gonna go with Joey. Joey, yeah, I'm a Joey guy too. I'm a Joey guy too. Can you say, how you doing? How you doing? There you go. All right, you guys, let's, let's take a nice photo here. There you go, okay, wait. Come on, stand up. Check this out. Hasn't been washed a day in its life. Look at these. Oh. Never been washed. This has never been washed. This is the real. You'll choke on it. You'll choke on it. I'll tell you right now. Okay, we gotta get the next group in here. Get out of here. Great, great, great. Give me another pose. Give me a cool pose. Where you're excited to be here. Woo! Excited to be here. There you go. Awesome. Now, will you guys give me a kiss? Oh, absolutely. Great kiss. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> um, the camera doesn't seem to be working. Let me get this fixed. Walk around, do your thing, enjoy okay. yourself. Yep. Yeah. This is the real friend set. Have you guys seen friends? Oh, yes. You have? Awesome, awesome. Actually, I can probably, don't tell anybody. I'm going to use your phone. See, I just can't have you telling okay. anybody because they'll have my ass. They'll have my ass. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get in trouble, trouble here. Trouble. Here, let's do this. Just so. All right, let me get the back. You turn that way, get the back of your heads. It's great. This is a better angle for you guys. I gotta be honest, I'm Justin Bieber, and I'm just messing with you guys. 
It is all a setup. You want to take a photo right away? Yeah. That's just a yeah. That's just a mirror. Are you kidding me? There's no one else. <laughs> 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 Can you guys sing Smelly Cat? Do you know? Do you know? Sing oh, it. You ready? Okay. Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. What are they feeding you? <laughs> smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. <laughs> it's not your fault. Okay, guys, get together for a photo. So while we were watching that clip, I just found out that the first couple is actually in the audience and they didn't know it was you until right now. Damn. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. You had no idea. <laughs> until right now. You thought it was just some weird guy. Yeah, honestly, yes. Yes. Hey, let me tell you, did you think the guy was weird or did you think he was kind of cool? I thought he was both. <laughs> <laughs> That was a very hey, good did it, answer. How about good, did I have good energy? Yes. Yeah, great energy, great energy. <laughs> good, I like that. <laughs> Justin will be back later in the show to play a game. We will be right back. We're back with Justin Bieber Stop. and... <laughs> hey, by the way, congratulations on your single. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Congratulations on your album and Absolutely. everything. Uh, one of the last times that Justin was on Ellen, she made him try to shoot a hockey puck through a hole. If he got it in, the whole audience got tickets to see him in concert. Let's see how that went. The game is called Holy Puck, and right. all you have to do is hit the puck into the hole. It seems easy. I'm going to give you three tries. I don't think okay. you're going to need three tries. Okay. give you another shot. Let's play Holy Roller! All I have to do is roll the ball into the hole, and the whole audience will get a pair of tickets to see you perform at the Rose Bowl. Wish me luck. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> you know what? But that's not the point. Well, We're gonna okay. let you do it. No, it's so, okay. It's like you're not great at it, but it's fine. Yep, yeah, that's okay. I can sing. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll probably be worse. I'll probably be worse. I'm bad too. That was worse that than That was worse than yours, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Do we keep going? Yeah, let's just keep going. I, I mean, just keep going or you go too? Well. Okay. okay, I'll go, I'll go, okay. No, oh my gosh! It's way harder. It's so much harder than it looks. Oh, wow, good idea. <laughs> yeah! Wait, wait, we got two more. Okay. It, 
if they don't do that, Justin, it's going to be locked inside of them. And then right. later tonight, when they're laying in bed, they'll just be like, ah! And then it'll come out, in a, and it'll wake them up. So they have to get it out of them. It's hilarious. They're happy to see you, and I'm happy to see you. Thank you for saying that. Um, so how was your Thanksgiving, and uh, do you cook? Don't cook very well, mm -hmm. uh, but my Thanksgiving was great. I spent it with a bunch of friends. Uh, I couldn't get home for Thanksgiving because there's a pandemic and we have to quarantine for 15 days. Yeah. Um, but I had a really good time. Haley's a really good cook. Oh, she is? Yes. So did she make a turkey? Uh, she made a turkey. She made a bunch of different stuff. She made turkey. She made uh, stuffing. She made a bunch of stuff. She's a really good cook. She did she cook in that outfit? She didn't cook in that outfit. She, uh, put, she put that on after she cooked. She, I'm sure she probably cooked in a different outfit, but um, she looks great, obviously. She always looks great. Yeah. But now, so she made like all, did, did other people bring things or did she make it for everybody? Uh, everybody kind of brought um, an item. Um, and uh, I have a chef too, which I'm really blessed about mm -hmm. um, to have. And so uh, she cooked a pretty mean meal. So, so did Haley cook that turkey? Did she, your chef cooked it, and she posed with it. Uh, no, Haley actually did. Oh, she cook did. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, you're lucky that she's a good cook and that she likes to cook. Yeah, um, I really am. I'm looking at your you, your beautiful new tattoo. You have yeah. a, and I saw the documentary, which I loved. Uh -huh. um, but I know what this means, but explain what the rose means to you. Well, the rose uh, is kind of like, um, I guess, to be honest, I made up a meaning because it really, <laughs> I just like the way it looks. But um, it's kind of like finding the beauty with it within kind of like the roughness of like, it's on is the it other this side. side? Oh, yep. it's this side. You don't, you don't even know where your tattoo is. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. But honestly, Haley doesn't want me to get any more neck ta tattoos. No, you have plenty. Yeah. So you have a hummingbird, which I love hummingbirds, yeah. and I think they, they're good luck, yeah. and, and a rose, and then no more neck tattoos. No more neck tattoos, that's what Haley says. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what she says. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Did you do that without her permission, the rose? You surprised her with that? Um, no, well, <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, <laughs> no, I, she, she knew that I wanted to get it. She was like, wait a month, and if you still want to get it, then get it, and so that's what mm -hmm. I did. So you waited a month? Waited a month, yeah. Exactly a month. Yeah. And then 30 days, you went and got yeah, it. Yeah, and then I was Did like, she have tattoos? She has a few tattoos, yes. Her whole hand is tatted. So, oh, really? Yeah, like these little cute little dainty f like flower things. How old were you when, when you first got your first tattoo? When I got my first tattoo, I was 16. And what was it? And it was a little bird like this small that's now covered up by a giant tattoo here. Like, so my whole stomach is tattooed. Oh my God. All right, guys, you're crazy. <laughs> um, but no, this little, uh, I have a little bird here. You can't even see I it. I can see it. It's like, yeah, anyways. And then you decided to cover the little bird? Uh, I decided that I wanted to be fully tattooed from my arms down to my torso. Um, I just really like expressing myself through art. Um, I've always been pretty cre creative, so. Yeah, yes, you're very creative. Thank you. So you're, so, but you don't have your, I saw that you're saving tattoos on your back for when you have kids. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Yeah. So you'll do like a family portrait of all of you sitting in front of a fireplace, you and Haley and the kids. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Like yeah. framed, you should actually do a tattoo and make it look like it's in a frame. Yeah. On an easel. Okay, I'll yeah. do that yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, how many kids are you going to have and when? I'm going to have uh, as many as Haley is wishing to push out. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have myself a little tribe. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's her body and whatever she wants to do. Does she want a lot? She wants, I think she wants to have a few. What are y'all waiting for? What's, well, you know you love kids. You, you're so good with kids. Thank you for saying that. What's I, the hold up? I think the issue, there's not really an issue, um, but I think Haley still has some things she wants to accomplish. Um, as a woman, and I think she just wants to, um, yeah, I think she just is not ready yet. I think that's okay. I think that's fantastic. That's, you know what? 
I was hoping that was the answer because I know how much you love kids and you're going to be such a great dad. Thank you. But um, I think that's really important because how old is she? Uh, she's 24. Yeah. No, she yeah. should wait until she's ready she's and ready, get everything yeah. done that she wants to get done. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank All you. right. We have to take a break and uh, more with Justin and uh, we'll be back. So you took a road trip, which yes. a lot of people are doing. I mean, that's the one good thing when you look at a positive that comes out of the pandemic. People are doing things they would normally never do. Yeah. And you obviously tour a lot, but yep. you don't get to go out and do things. And you and Haley went on a road trip. Yeah. In your tour bus? Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> So it wasn't too much, it wasn't like we roughed it too hard, but um, we definitely enjoyed ourselves. Got to travel across North America. We went all the way home to, to Canada on the bus. Um, and yeah, it was a good time. So, and, and what did you see, what did you do that you hadn't gotten a chance to do before? Well, I got to, um, what did I do? I spent a couple, so I guess we parked in some RV parks, which were a little sketchy. <laughs> um, yeah, there's I didn't RVs know if we and make then, it out alive. And then you have a tour bus in an RV. Exactly. Park. So it was it was a little weird. We had some guy just walk on our tour bus. Uh, we had to tell him that that's kind of not acceptable. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's my story. Yeah, I'm sticking to it. I like the big sip. It's one of my favorite things. Is the big sip. Uh huh. So you went on a you went on a jet ski. Yeah. And the jet ski is out in the middle of. A lake. Where is this, Canada? So yeah, uh, it was um, it was still cold. Um, it was in Canada, and I don't know. This story isn't that exciting, but yes, I, was, I was trapped out on a jet ski, and I had to swim back in like glacier water. It was it was pretty Wait, epic. Yeah, so Do you guys have a video or something? Of no. This? But like, how do you even know about this? Who told you? About I this? don't know. We have spies. I gotcha. don't know. Um, I found this out in the in the meeting this morning, but they said the jet ski broke down, so then they sent a boat out to get you, but then the boat broke down. And the down. Boat broke down. So then the oh. guy says, y'all have to swim in freezing cold water for like a half a mile. Yeah. I mean, that's dangerous. It was it was dangerous. Although but... you like freezing cold water, because you did a video. Yeah, yeah. I, I do the ice plunge regardless every day, because I because it's good for your body. You do it every day? Pretty much every day, yeah. Ice plunge in, in like an ice bath or like just cold water? Uh, ice bath. That's like a, the Wim Hof method. You know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. breathing. Yeah. Wim Hof is, he's like, where is he from again? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. But we'll find out. Because <laughs> um, Andy's telling me you have to go to break. So we're going to okay. find out where he's from. And But it's supposed to be really, really good for you to shock your body like that. Love that. Yeah. All right, we'll find out about Wim Hof. We'll come back. Let's it's very it. important. What? He's from the Netherlands, Justin. Dang. Yeah. Is it Wim Hof? Wim, Wim Hof, but he has these breathing techniques, and he's, he's a G. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we still on TV? OK. <laughs> we'll be back. We're back with Justin Bieber. Congratulations for Grammy nominations. Thank you. Fantastic. So you have a, a, a lot of new music, and it's it's like you just, I think this is some of the best stuff you've put out that you've put you put out recently. Thank you. Do you feel that? I do, yeah. It feels very honest yeah. to me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Holy is fantastic. I heard that Scooter played it for me a while back, and I just thought it was beautiful. Thank you. And then uh, you, so was SNL the first kind of thing you did in a while? SNL was, yeah. It was kind of like, uh, it was my first time back after taking couple years off. That's a, I mean, after a couple of years to yeah. not perform, and SNL, and it's live, and that performance, Lonely, I don't know if you all got to see that, but that song is beautiful, and it, I just thought it was so beautiful the way it was done. Were you, because it, it, feel, it feels to me like when you're singing, you're never nervous, mm -mm. right? Yeah. You get nervous other times, but when you're singing, you're just at home. Yeah, for sure. Like, I get way more nervous now than I do when I'm singing. Yeah, for well, sure. I mean, you just, that's what you do. That's yeah. who you are. Thank you. But I just thought it was a beautiful, and especially, like I said, after not being on for a couple of years to do that. And then you were great with Shawn Mendes the other night for the Thank music you. awards. Thank that was you. beautiful. Thank so you. a lot of a lot of performing, a lot of new music. Yeah. That's great. Thank you that's for great. saying I, that. I can't wait. So you must miss the road. Uh, yeah, I do. I just want to make sure it's safe first, yeah. obviously. But yeah, yeah, I definitely miss the road. Um, all right, we're uh, we're gonna give you a little gift just because uh, you wear beanies a lot. You didn't wear one today because you knew I was gonna give you. A I beanie knew you were gonna roast me for it. Not so. roast you. Not no, at all. In, in a in a in a in a fun in a loving way. way. In a loving way. Yeah, just, you guys are. 
I just, because you wear beanies nice. all the time, and nice. now you have a, an you Ellen so beanie to wear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Should I, better, I try it on? I better see that all the time, I'm yeah. I'm try it on. Yeah. Look at that. Good? Yeah. Great. Great. Right? Yeah, it's perfect. It is. It's perfect on you. It's gone. It's off. <laughs> hey, right. my hair's getting pretty long, huh? It's getting very long. I'm growing it out. Legend of the Fall, Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's what I'm going is for. That, is that your inspiration? That's what I'm going for. I can't for. wait to see it. Like yeah. shoulder length. Yeah. Like you could do pigtails. Could. Yeah. Um, all right. We're gonna. Uh, we're, we're both very, very competitive, and we're gonna play a game, and we're gonna surprise some uh, Justin fans who don't know this is about to happen. We'll be back. Hello, ladies. How are you? Great. Great. <laughs> who are you? Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Where do you live? What do you do? I'm from Orange County, and I teach dance. And you are? Skylar. Hi, Skylar. And where do you live? What do you do? I'm from LA, and I am a student at UC Riverside. What are you studying? Uh, public policy. Public policy? Yeah. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're going to be on my team, Carrie. Yes. Uh, and we need somebody to be on your team. Yeah. So uh, Justin, will you come back out here, please? <laughs> <laughs> Carrie. Who's my partner? Yes. Yes, Skylar is. Let's Hi. Go. But got this. Carrie, don't got this. let this throw you. You're you're my partner. You're my on my team. We're gonna we're gonna I'm with you, Ellen. We're gonna win. I'm with yes. It's we not are. gonna go well for you. All right, sorry. <laughs> it's not. We got no. what you said. So it's not gonna go well for you guys. <laughs> you know what? The way you're gonna cry when this is over <laughs> is gonna be it's gonna be hard to be on national TV. All right. International, actually. Is a International. Fact. Yeah. Oh. Here's how this game <laughs> that works. That is hilarious. Justin and I will see two words, a winning word and a danger word. We have to get our partners to say the winning word without saying the danger word. We can only use one word clues. If you say the danger word, I will be forced to push this button. And if you guess the winning word, I'll shoot the cannon at the losing team. All right? Nice. I am the host. I will go first. And here are our winning and danger words. Cool. And I take this? Yeah, you hold okay. that. But I'll start with my one word. Christmas. Holiday. Mm. Uh, dang. Uh, hat. Santa? Ah! All right. Wait, wait, wait. Look what you're doing. Wait. Ah! Ah! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see. only get two more of those, uh, and you lose. Okay. All right. You're gonna start with one word. All right. Okay. Uh, I will say snow. <gasps> Snowman. Um, now it's your go. Country. <laughs> the singer? I don't know. Rafters? Canada. Yes! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was looking Four at him. Months. He's from there. All right, now we're even. Okay. All right, yep. I go first this time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Clash. Music. Drummer boy? Yeah. <laughs> That's a song of yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, um, Does that count as a danger word? Because she said. Drums. Yeah, because she said drums. Dang. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> sim sim oh, clash. It was clash. Yeah, clash. Oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> One more. 
more. <laughs> okay. One more and you're not, uh... oh gosh, okay. all right. Ooh. And, then, and then we watch Justin cry. Ooh. Okay, oh, no. yep, I don't want him it to is cry. It, is it me or Justin first? <laughs> Justin. Okay. Uh, you, you first. Kiss. Mistletoe. Let's see. Oh, good. All right. I can't see. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Music. Ooh. Ooh. C CD? <laughs> World. Pop star? Oh, Carrie. Please, I hope it's okay. okay. Remember what I said. Vinyl. Disc. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. <laughs> uh, DJ. Uh, 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 remix? Okay. Oh, Carrie. Close, okay. close. Turntable. Record. Five inch 4K TCL TV, Better. and for playing, you won one also. Damn. Ah! Damn. All right. This is cool. Besides Justin admitting that he just lost to me, you, ha you have something else to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, audience, when I go back on tour, everyone's going to go to my concert. So. Ah!